Yo, Twitch chat, what's up? Hey, Olympus, some hippo. Happy Thursday? Happy Thursday! What is up, everybody? There are only two of you. That's all we need, though. We still go. Hey, Gunslinger, what's up? Hey, Eggzeek. What's up? Hey, Kerrigan, what's up? Uh, just posted a video, guys. If you care about Marvel Snap, new Regis Kilbin video. You should know these eight tips when starting Marvel Snap. I know you don't have access to Marvel Snap yet, so kind of got it. Like, I got a few videos I'm kind of trying to get out ahead of, like, the actual release of the game for, you know, kind of long term, long term viewership. I'm not expecting a lot of people to click these yet, but uh, when you when you get Marvel Snap, come back and keep an eye on this video for later, because it has some tips you'll need to know when playing Marvel Snap. Uh, man, I just noticed these view video views are high. 68k, 67k, that's insane. These highlights always do worse. That's fine, but crazy. Big duels run coming up tomorrow on YouTube. I'm just like trying to catch up my brain all, all of a sudden. Just feel like I don't know what I'm posting videos for. Tonight, I'm hoping to get another Hearthstone video out. Um, hey, Horderon. Hey, Wild Bill. What's the plan for today? I think we'll start with duels again. Um, I hopefully have a short duels run because I need to play a little bit of standard, but, uh, yeah, we'll do it. We'll do a short duels run. We got a few hours, so maybe something a little goofier or weirder today. Although I kind of said that yesterday and it ended up being like the best run in history. So I, uh, you know. We can do something a little different this time. A little something like maybe super unreliable. Something that we don't believe will ever actually work. Something that's really bad. Um, warrior Bran. What's Bran? Warrior and Hunter. We got Priest and Druid. We got Rogue and Mage. I don't know. I gotta think about it. Uh, short like yesterday, yeah. Yeah, I know. I wish Wish got used to. Um, could do like a priest. I always feel like I want to play more brand than I do. Could do like a colossal brand deck. Um, so obviously a few different colossal cards available. Any cool like battle cry shenanigans we could do with like coil fang constrictor like a priest or something like a also there's like thief rogue stuff we could do like jackpot quest rogue even like take two turns kind of rogue we never did do a good secret reno that's true or our hero power is a treasure we never really got that going good oh cart man thanks for the seven months you're going to summon me a one attack, two attack, and three attack minion, aren't you? <laughs> That's what Okar did, right? I think so. Um, we didn't get Shaman. I was thinking about playing, like, spell Shaman stuff. We could do Death Rattle Rogue with Reno. Like, that's super weird because he's not really a Death Rattle support card. But is there any Death Rattles and Maids that are interesting? Like, very few, right? It's not a common Death Rattle class. Aegwyn is kind of fun. Solarian, Ronin, Pyros. Yeah, Solarian and Aegwyn are about the only cool mage Death Rattles. But I do kind of like the idea of, like, an Aegwyn rogue thing going off right like that death rattle going off over and over again like ways to maybe cheese that or do something cool with that like <laughs> it's one of those things where it, it really shouldn't work at all so let's do that that sounds like a good way to lose some games if we're gonna go for spell damage i guess we do just use the magical torch right this also just kind of wins games sometimes early on because it's so strong in its own right so death rattle spell damage 
combo. Oh my god, back to Pine with five gifted subs. I think I missed some some gifted subs yesterday too, maybe. From I think it was Draconis. Draconis, if you're out there, and I if I did miss those, I don't remember. I just noticed it after the stream. I think I was really locked into the games and stuff. But uh, Draconis, thanks for the gift subs yesterday. Bjorn Winfelt with six months as well on the tier one. That's amazing. Grats, Chief Ghost, Coral, Lich King, Resin, and Antharal on the gifted subs. Back to Pine. Yeah, that is very nice. Very, very cool. Do, do, do. Reno Tess with hero cards to replay infinite tests. Well, we've done thief stuff before. I'm actually going to I'm going to stick to this death rattle plan. It's it's a wacky one, but I'm intrigued by it. So basically a Gwen uh, death rattles. If I can, you know, focus on a Gwen death rattles specifically. Um. Along with other, obviously, Death Rattle synergy cards. But maybe Aegwyn giving me, like, a ton of, uh... Spell damage Death Rattles, if possible, right? Like... So... You know, getting a ton of spell, like, copy it with Raptor, get two of them with Graveyard, Counterfeit Blade, so on, and then just, you know, get a billion spell damage and, uh... Go for the magical torch. Now we could do actually. Um, well, Thanos is a pretty good fit too as a spell damage card, I guess, huh? It's not bad. Uh, we could also we might want like life gain though too. Hold up, I gotta think about this. Uh... Bjorn Winfeld. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't think Milos is a good fit. I gotta say, I, I just stopped buying it. I don't know. Thanks for the thousand bits, though, man. Oh, that's crazy. I was gonna say, um... What was I gonna say? Shoot, I forgot what I was gonna say. Oh, copy cards. Cards that copy themselves. Uh... In, in order to like you know we used to do this with clowns to, to once they get spell damage right like like twin fin fin twin could double up the buff even more uh on Aegwin. now that said you know do i want to make an entire deck around that i think is the is the concern double agent kind of does the same thing but has a weird condition like can maybe run a twin fin <laughs> <laughs> it's so random. I'm scared we'll get Murlocs if I do. It's probably not worth it. I don't think that's that. I don't think that particular angle of cheese is is correct. It seems a little iffy. Um, I think I think instead just uh, maybe some survivability death rattles. Like we don't have a lot of healing otherwise. There's like plated beetle. That's an interesting idea. There's like mistress of mixtures that heals our opponent too much. Could do a plated beetle and then there's always like Nazoth as well. Is that too expensive or maybe like a Moarg even? It seems kind of kind of expensive again. Yeah. Anka though makes a lot of this stuff, you know, playable, I guess. In theory, some of the bigger stuff becomes playable. This list is just so out there. <laughs> it's just such a random assortment of stuff. There's like no way this is good. <laughs> uh, let's do it anyway. I don't care. I want this one to go quick. I want this one to go quick. So death rattle, spell damage, Reno. Let's go. <laughs> so again you know uh i only have the one damage spell right now so we kind of got to fix that problem i should have added like one more wicked stab maybe but uh, we'll figure it out we'll figure it out technically that one keeps coming back right so i don't know if i have card draw here there are normally you know four or five optimizations i probably would have made if i'd really spent some time on this trying to find the perfect Willow opener and everything but versus Ultimately, nah, we don't need that. Let's just go. Uh, Lieutenant's fun, but let's get a better uh, follow-up Death Rattle, I think, right? I, I really want, like, Aegwyn or... Well... Gosh, I don't know. Pyros isn't terrible, but it's just not very good. It's not, like, board-based, right? It's, like, too value-based. I think, I think we can do better. 
Eggwin. It's really Eggwin that I would like, but I'm not gonna like go crazy for Eggwin. If I don't have it. Beetle is at least doing like, you know, half these <laughs> death battles don't really do anything. They're all like sneaky, I just realized. Like they're none of them are like tempo based, right? That might end up being an issue. Maybe Thelnus is enough. Maybe that's okay. Just get some card draw. The dead never rest. Job's done. Maybe just get some card draw. I just need to get this down to start contesting Murlocs, I think. Otherwise, we're going to fall super far behind. I mean, the Space Rock is fun in theory, I guess. Like, it might work out for us, actually. I'll have, like, three mana to play something. Maybe that's just better than Thalnos at this stage. Um... I don't know. We'll see. This game's going to be be awkward, I think. Ozomat could be a game saver, though. Like, Onka into an Ozomat that clears the board after a, co a couple turns. We do have Shatter Shambler Ozomat, remember, so... We can not insta-clear, too, if sometimes if needed. Yeah, I guess I'll... I guess... Oh, my God. Level. I guess we'll just go Space Rock. That's fine. I need to attack and first, don't I? Do I. I? I almost got that wrong for the 89th time. <laughs> it's like... How many times are you gonna get that wrong, Regis? I got it. I did it. How has Ozomat been performing? Uh, we, I mean, this is the first game with, with this deck, but uh, in general, not great so far. Like like every other legendary in the uh, in the mini set so far, not great. It's weird. In fact, uh, I, I looked uh, the other day, Ulthok is the highest performing legendary in the mini set. Now he's still not very good for the record. He still sucks, but he's actually technically the highest performing by deck win rate right now. Which is kind of wild. Okay, so just passing that uh, death throttle on to the next turn. We don't really have anything good to do here, so... Mana bind wasn't especially exciting. Rather just get the 3-4 down and deal with it later. Okay. Is this combo? Yeah. We don't have a lot of great combo activators for the Magical Torch here, I gotta say. I guess Thalno's Torch right now would be pretty good, but that's about it. This 4-2 should trade, right? Oh, it's gonna go face. Wow. Interesting. Man, Sketchy sucks. Do I ever trade this in because I need good spells right now? I feel like I'm, I'm kind of screwed if I don't, honestly. The value trade sounds good, but I need cards. I need something to do here. We're way behind. Yeah, okay. Sure. Why not? So this always hits... Um, aw. It's the worst one. This always hits Plated Beetle. Would I rather have a 2-2 on board or 3 health? Kind of think I'd rather have a 2-2 or 3 health, honestly. Kind of dying here. Hmm. Don't even think it's really enough to be honest, but it's all I got at the moment. So if I play Anka, will I be able to survive into like an Ozomat, you know? Even then the Ozomat's not gonna die unless I have a Shatter Shambler as well. I need to top deck Shatter Shambler, I need to play Anka, I need to survive the turn somehow, right? That's problem number one. Ugh, that makes the problem even harder. I don't think I'll survive, right? They've got mega damage there. Okay, so I need this to be something insane instead. None of those are insane. They all suck. GG. Uh, what deck is this? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's a death rattle mage. <laughs> you heard that correctly. It's a death rattle mage. That's a new archetype. I played two raptors this game and I couldn't win. This is like the dead version of this guy. Well, the game definitely did not know what to do with these. <laughs> I mean, I have a few legendaries, but not a lot. 
uh, man, I, I wish it defaulted to giving like general use treasures more like, you know, Book of Wonders and Mysterious Tome and all that stuff. Because right now it's like, man, what am I going to do with this? Uh, discover? I mean, uh, I have reconnaissance. That's literally the only card, though. <laughs> I have one card. Won't Ring keep giving you minions? It does indeed, yeah, but... I, do I need that value, right, is the question. Like, uh, do I need more tempo? Huh, huh, huh. Uh, these just all suck so much. <laughs> Oh no. Um I guess I just take ring and and assume I'll fix any like tempo problems later but I, I just cuz this is although this is a tempo card it's literally only worth 8 mana the entire game based on my current deck. I don't think we'll get a ton of extra legendaries to be honest and like the two of those legendaries are super late in the game. One of them discounts everything anyway, so it's like it's good for Thalnos and Pyros, and that's it, right? Like it's the only two cards that matters. It, would I rather just have more value, more choices? I mean, this deck's kind of slow and greedy right now. <sighs> it's just, these are all just so bad. <laughs> I don't know. I guess I do take the tempo card still, but Thalnos and Pyro, so we can get a good opener. Like, they are pretty nuts, right? Um, Here's two legendaries that are pretty synergistic, actually. Shoot, I might do this. Okay. Maybe I can convince it to give us more legendaries. I don't know. That was a decent bucket, honestly. All right. We'll try. We'll try. Versus Elise. The League of Explorers cannot fail. We're gonna be rich and save the world. Save the world. Were you guys watching the Summer Game Fest at all earlier? I watched a little bit. It was like. <clears throat> it was like eight straight space, uh, scary space games. <laughs> Maybe not eight, but. I think maybe literally four or five. It's just like five straight scary space games, which was actually, I mean, they look cool. I liked them all. Magic Milky Man thinks the 29 months. This is the hand, guys. Uh, assuming I can hold this till Aegwin, but I mean, I can play it on four or something, right? I just need stuff to do in the meantime. Need to be alive. Hey, Vesley, what's up? I don't know if I counted Aegwin in my literary count, but it's something at least. Always hit the button in case we get that randomly discovered snow giant or whatever it's called. Frost giant? Snow giant? Shaman hero power giant? Whatever the name is. Uh, am, I, am I playing the lieutenant on two right now just for lack of anything else to do? I mean, what three would I hit that changes anything? Nothing really, right? Well... It's gonna be, dude. This deck is so bad. I think this is the worst duels deck we've ever built. Oh man! I literally just just typed in death rattle and grabbed every card. I don't know. Not even really though. I I honestly didn't even get any good ones despite all that. I'm gonna wait in case I want to play something. Right. I need to. I need to be careful. How did the Queldalar run end yesterday? Well, you better go to YouTube to check it out. I don't want to spoil it here. It's on my on my stream VOD channel already. Well, Vesely spoiled it, so... <laughs> GG Regis. <laughs> yeah, it's already on the VOD channel if you want to watch it. Hey, Raren, what's up, man? I am doing well. How are you doing? 
How's the Raren man? Saw a Dexter video maybe this morning. Sounds right. Maybe. I think. Today. Probably. Night read this love of the YouTube vids. Thanks, Rolly Rolfy. Chillin' taking a break. Yeah, nice dude. Thanks for hanging out with me during said break. Legendary minion, let's go. So next turn's Lieutenant uh, and Car, not Cartot, nothing. I want to play a Gwyn on five. <sighs> dude, this, this game plan makes no sense. I literally only have the torch. So if I go for Aegwyn, I I guess maybe I don't do the Aegwyn thing until I get a torch because like obviously Cartot is going to make more sense next turn. Uh, th then a Forsaken Lieutenant into an Aegwyn on five. That makes no sense. Like once I get the torch, I can start I can start weaving in the uh this tech dude who came up with this idea. <laughs> ah, mine is still your favorite. I'm glad, dude. It was very fun, so. It was very fun. Uh, always a good time. Okay, I, I don't know if our opponents are BMing or what. They, they've waited every turn and roped every turn, so this is fun. I don't know what's up. The one time they like ended the turn before the rope. <laughs> Dude, I just don't have. Uh... Okay, they're taking forever, so. <laughs> Back to the game plan. I don't know. <laughs> Hey, Grumpy or Go, what's up, man? They're pissed that I'm playing a hyper optimized deck. Yeah, this this person AFK might be the only way on earth we actually <laughs> the only way we actually win a game. Uh, okay, they're back. Okay, I lose. GG. Bladed Beetle. I just need, it's no big deal. I just need to draw Magical Torch with Eggman and we're happy campers, right? That's all we need. It would be better if we don't stagger as well, but that may be harder to control. Just regular Moonfires ripping, okay. Moar, wow. The only problem with this play is that it does not kill the 2-3. But I don't have a great way of doing that either anyway. Like, Counterfeit Blade doesn't really kill the 2-3. I mean, it kills the 2-3, but it doesn't, doesn't activate Spell Cry, right? So that still feels kind of bad. Uh... Yeah, let's let them kill them simultaneously, maybe. I don't have any real reason to trade here that we can see anyway. Okay, we just got it sketchy. Yeah, that gives me a Pyros and a Space Rock, maybe? Space Rock would actually be kind of decent, perhaps. Get a good, uh, get a good Arcane Mage spell. Oh, I forgot to attack. Oh my god, I literally just talked about this last game. Forgot to do two. Literally just talked about this last game. <laughs> Literally just said. I just said I forgot 96 times. Yep. Great. Oh, look, it wouldn't have mattered like most things in Hearthstone when it comes to mistakes. They rarely make a difference. They rarely matter. Okay, Moonfire there. They're not going to kill the other 2-2? Two -two? They are, okay. That makes sense. So this Cairn has a lot of death rattles, but no good ones. I don't have any... <laughs> Dude, this, this game plan is so stupid. <laughs> okay. 
So Karen has plus four spell damage, right? As soon as I get a magical torch, the one spell in my deck. Boy, oh boy, watch out. We're gonna we're gonna deal eight damage. Boy, oh boy. You just wait. Wait till I get that eight damage, buddy. You're in trouble. <laughs> Uh, this is a fun run. We went from yesterday's run, that, like quite possibly the greatest duels run in the history of human, humankind, and today we've got this. <laughs> I hope I win a game to get to that second passive though, because if we do get like reborn death rattles, I think there's a shot we could save this. I just need to win a game. I need one game. Man, an Onka would sure go like a mile right now, wouldn't it? Jeez, imagine an Onka with his hand. Too many Moonfires! I don't really care about healing, I just care about being alive. Seems like that's not really gonna happen, but what do I know? Onka! Onka, 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 Onka! Hey, I got a torch! That's maybe not so bad, but I can't really do much with it right now. This either hits Pyros or Space Rock. I would really like Space Rock here. Really like Space Rock here. Okay, nice. Ooh, that would be fancy card draw if I could do that, but I can't. Pilfer? Gifts? Mimic Pod. I, I don't know, man. I'm running out of mana again. Like, Do I kill Fandral? I can actually kill the 5-6. It's sort of the most damage, right? I think that's a little better. Well, I guess I should do this first. Oh god, that didn't just... Oh god... I'm an idiot. I gave my Pilfer plus two spell damage. This is going great. It's just going great. It's going so good. I think I might be the best at this deck in the world. <laughs> I, bet, I bet that felt like slow motion there, didn't it? Like, did I just... Wait, no. Shadow Cloth Needle. I mean, if they run out of burst damage here, the Moar could, like, actually still do this for me, maybe, right? Weirdly? Like, I don't know what they're gonna have here, but... Or they just get it now. What was that? They were targeting face with a minion? What was that? <gasps> oh, god. oh my god. Do I want this to be a 1-1 one -one though, right? Because it actually heals uh, maybe a bit more if it's not a 1-1, one -one, right? <sighs> but then I don't know, I got Ozomat too, potentially. Am I alive if they kill that as a 1-1? One -one? Let's think. Moonfire, it, I take... I'm at 12. No, I'm not alive. They, they deal... 8, 10, 15, I mean, we have to assume we're not alive. I don't think I can Ozomat and kill the Ozomat, right? Because I don't have a Shatter Shambler. So I kind of have to play Moarg honestly here, I think. And even that's, you know, this is iffy. This is not a gimme. This is, if only this were dead, huh? Man, can you imagine how nice that would be? Probably still just dead over the top here, but... Nourish for mana just to get a... Uh, oh, there's... Wait. BM, I guess? Ah, BM. <laughs> I was like, wait, wait a minute here. That is, that is not up. Oh, 
Okay, we lost. Alas. Oh, it's because of Fandral they drew. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. But no need to play that then, really, unless you're just grabbing a Moonfire, I guess. Okay. It's actually Murloc Holmes here with Inspiring Presence. I, I know we, we got a Blade yesterday. It's fun. I love Blades. Hmm, this is a little interesting spell damage package, but this is the Death Rattle package. I need to win this game. Every other thing didn't matter. We have to win this game. To get our Death Rattle passive, and then we can actually go for 12. We can actually go for 12. I'm going to save this run. Just got to win this game. I need an early Pyros into an early Murloc Holmes into an Onka. Like, we're going to do this. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. How does one take their whole turn every single turn? I think they were like BMing or savoring the spotlight or something. I don't I don't know. They were playing a little weird though for sure. Yeah, Shadow Shambler is insane. I don't want to play it on one, but I'm going to keep it because I think it's just so crazy later with like Ozomat and stuff. Ooh, spicy hand. Okay, Thalnos is going to discount the beetle. We're going to play both on turn, turn one, turn two, turn one. <sighs> Scroll of Wonders is going to screw this guy and not screw me. Right, right. It's not going to summon him in the air on turn one. <sighs> it's okay. It's not, that's not really that bad in the scheme of things. I can live with that. It's okay. That's fine. Oh, my Celium's so hard to beat, dude. Like, uh, like, why, why, why don't other people play Death Rattle Mage? Why is everybody going to play good cards? Everybody knows Death Rattle Mage is where it's at, man. Hit, hit a beetle. Oh, Eggman's pretty good, actually. That's not bad. Three mana Eggman that also discounts something for two is a pretty sick play, actually. Okay, so beetle on two, Eggman on three. If we get, like, cool Eggman, uh, plays, like, that's fine, whatever. We'll have to hit our, uh, one... Oh, we hit it. Wow, okay. Guys, it's coming together. It's coming together. Shatter Chamber could make a big play, too. Um, really just probably Azamat is good, but we'll take that if that happens. Murloc Holmes. Wow, that's good, too. Eggman better for now. <sighs> Woo! Tempo, baby. We can get this next turn. That's awesome. This will discount one of these potentially to zero, which would also make it playable. Shadow Shambler would be the low roll there, I guess, but... Do I ever start going face? I don't think so, but kind of enticing. <laughs> Just load it into your singing voice. I'm gonna go to 12 like an angel. I sing like an angel. I'm so happy to hear that. I always wanted to sing like an angel. Drew it of the bro. Gonna kill the Eggwin. Okay. It's kind of not that bad for me. Really, I just keep replaying that effect. We dig it. Reconnaissance, we probably always want to hit a legendary, right? We can. See what we draw here. Ozomat has the Aegwyn effect, dude. I wish all of his minions got it as well. How sick would that be, dude? That'd be so freaking sick. <laughs> okay. Um, so Ozomat, uh, Shatter Shambler's pretty sick now. Oh. Rat King is a legendary, yeah, so we'll do that. Obviously, we're getting my order here a little bit, but it's all good. Real glyph, that's no big deal necessarily. Could be good, I guess. It's a waste. 
That's good for me, sort of. I mean, I, I'd probably prefer this being big. But I actually get a, a real card. Ooh, I get... Oh my god, I get the scrolls too. They just weren't showing up at first. Oh my god, dude, that's bad. I'm gonna burn a card. Ah! This is so sick, dude. Uh, my ceiling is so busted. It, it's just like, ugh, playing against it feels so bad usually. I think, anyway. Well, okay. Let's see what gets discounted here. If nothing else, we could just play a torch, maybe. Looks like, uh, okay, scroll, sure. Uh, next turn I can go Ozomat to clear board if they go for a board. Uh, remember this makes this five. And you play it, so. Kind of hope they build a board. If not, uh, I don't know. This has our, our Aegwyn, so might just play this anyway as a board, right? Just a threat development. I can't wait for these to steal the game. It's just like if, if I didn't win early, right? It's just kind of impossible to beat this Druid, though. It really sucks that we're fighting them at 0-2. It's really annoying. Like, this is basically the best deck in duels right now, and we have to fight it at 0-2. Like, that, that feels pretty bad to me. Hopefully this hits Torch and I can just dome them, dude. That would be so sick if this hit Torch and I could just dome them for a bunch. Uh, I might be able to use this to grab a Torch later, but it's not super reliable, right? It's actually Agonies right now. So maybe I should just use that to grab Nazoth. Nazoth is going to be a good play later. Done. This is a little premature because I lose my board clear, but you know, I gain a board. It's great for Rat King, obviously, to have a board. It, it keeps my Eggwin chain going too, so that's nice, right? There's a few reasons to do this. <sighs> dude, Ozomat looks so sick. I wish, dude, if all of these got, <laughs> dude, if all of these got <laughs> the buff, it wouldn't make sense. There's no reason they should, but it would be so insane. Some might say your voice is a mix between Fergie and Jesus. That's my favorite movie. Never heard of the movie A Mix Between Fergie and Jesus, but sounds good. <laughs> sounds great. Can't wait. So does this copy the spell damage as well? Like if you know if they if I trade in a couple one threes and I play like an unearth raptor. Is it going to copy the spell damage or just the death rattle part of it? I don't I don't know how it works, I guess. I mean, we're going to find out. This is insane anyway. It doesn't appear to have cap uh, copied the... Oh, no, it does. Eight. Yeah, it's eight. So this is going to go to... I need to hit this though or just go face um yeah I guess we'll hit this they didn't do the minutes last time so. okay wow oh the torch was shuffled that wasn't the spell damage copy oh okay then I didn't copy the spell damage why do you guys say things so confidently? It, make, it makes sense to me that this wouldn't copy the spell damage. Although they're listed under one enchantment, it, it does say and, right? Like, spell damage and death rattle. And the death rattle is specifically in quotations. So I would expect this to just have the death rattle portion, not, not the spell damage portion. And it's not glowing. So yeah, this, this is what my expectation would be, honestly. They kill both, so the next minion is really juiced, whatever it is. Very juiced boy out there. I, will the yeah? Will the next? Yeah, the, the the next. Does the next minion inherit more powers? Like, does it also inherit the death rattles powers? I need to read Aegwin's text. 
inherits these powers. I, I don't know, dude. I really do not know. It, it, it definitely went off a couple times there. Um... So she has spell damage to the blood. No, it's showing Azamat's picture. Right, it's showing Azamat's picture. <laughs> but I... So, like, if, if these tentacles... If she dies before these tentacles, will she clear a minion? <laughs> I, I don't know, dude. <laughs> I have no idea. Like, if they kill this, if they play a minion and then they kill the raptor, will it die because of the tentacles? I gotta read Ozomat again. For each of Ozomat's tentacles, destroy a random enemy minion. Yeah, I mean, theoretically, I think it might. I, I don't know. I have no idea. I hope they play something and then kill the raptor so I can test it, right? Maybe they like play on Onyxia and trade into the Raptor first and we kill everything, right? That would be so sick. Well, not everything. Four minions, but you get to just... Second guff? Okay. It's not, like, inherently problematic. There go all our tentacles, unfortunately. Oh, that's gonna be a nice buff, though. How does this resolve? Ooh. That's not bad. Big old boy. Rat King's back. Burned a scroll. Zeph. Oh my god. What does Zeph have? They might have could have mind controlled something, but how scary is Zeph right now? That makes sense, dude. My next minion is gonna be so jacked. <laughs> I just need to get the dude, I just need to get torch. It's gonna be absolutely insane. Um uh, I guess I'll just scroll to try to find... Oh my god, I didn't... I need to hit a minion, dude. Oh, that's not bad. Jeez. Pretty... Oh, these don't actually cast when drawn, huh? Oh man, I thought they might. I'm wrong. Shoot. Okay, well, I guess I put Torch back in then just... Cycle this for another round. Nazoth next turn's fine. I think the real question is like, can my torch beat their mycelium, right? And the problem is I have too many cards. <sighs> okay. The Zoth next turn has Ozomat, Aegwyn. No big threat card really yet. Because we didn't play a Pyrus. Is a Plate of Beetle, a Blood Mage. That one was actually pretty good though, because I need some card draw. That might be nice. Energy paths for armor, probably, yeah. Uh... <laughs> do 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 do. Call to hold torch. I, I don't. The, the reason you would hold torch is if you think you could get a lethal breakpoint with it after the next minion draw, right? I don't think that's going to happen, basically. So I'm saying I need more rounds of torch, probably actually like two more as you, as you can see now their life is insane. Um, but yeah, if you're if your thought was I can kill them in one hit with torch. Yes, holding torch would make sense until you hit the Aegwin minion. But I, I didn't think we'd, we would do that. Given Druid, but. Nazoth might fill the board with tentacles depending on when the Ozomat happens in the cycle. Yeah, I'm not I'm not sure when Ozomat will will pop up interestingly for us that's probably not that much worse than the other minions that we have oh my god it's another torch it's all we're drawing okay so build a big board here make them react to it maybe get a rat king back okay that's pretty good set of units actually yeah man okay 13 don't clear my board please it's not bad that was the best target i guess Let's target. It's good. Big board if it actually would would manage to stick here. That would be great. It's pretty unlikely though. They usually just do anything they want with a stupid mycelium late in the game. <laughs> yeah, if this goes off. Yeah, the next the next unit should have 
five spell damages maybe so like 10 plus 10 spell damage maybe all on its own i don't know i'm trying to think it needs to die before i draw it though of course like they may not kill it here um i could use shatter shambler to activate like the second wave of, of minions again i guess I'm gonna hit you for eight! Just for free! Yay! I love this endgame loop every time! So much fun! I just have infinite cards! Yay! Oh! Oh my god, dude. How big is this gonna get, dude? How much spell damage do I have? I just need to hit a minion! I just need to hit a minion! <laughs> Please? Please? Forsaken Lieutenant. Okay. <laughs> All right, dude, I don't even know. I don't want to transform this, though, is the problem. I actually need it to die. So that's something. But uh, yeah, let's just... Uh, this is already at 11. I think this is going to take it to 21. The dead never rest. At 21, which... Hilariously enough, it's still not even enough damage, but obviously I'm still going to send it face. I think that's the only way we realistically win this game. Uh, I forgot to hear power. So. Yay. <laughs> Just pretend I hear a powered. Sudden betrayal is actually really good. Because they might want to go face here. Just pretend I hero powered. It's fine. You know, it's no big deal. They're at, uh, they're at 23. Let's pretend. Okay. I'm probably dead here a lot of the time, but if not, this is a stealth minion. If I could get the torch back, which is unfortunately only a one out of 11, but if I could maybe set up a lethal, right? It's gotta be alive too. It's actually not that trivial to be alive in this matchup. Karta and a Moar could both give me a little extra life gain. That might be nice. Do they go for AoE here? No, they leave up the for Oh, it's both. Okay. I see it, of course. That gets me a rat back. Next minion is still juiced. Karen is juiced. Or, no, maybe Karen's not juiced because that draw it was drawn off the uh, Thalnos. I think the next minion after Karen will be juiced. Where'd my, Where'd my deck go? That rope's burning again. Did it do? I'm gonna die. I need... I can't draw both Torch and... Oh my god, dude. I'm so... This gameplay loop is so agonizing and stupid. <sighs> Oh my god, I hit Torch again, but I don't have the minion! Karen is not the minion! Can this maybe draw me a card? Maybe. But if not, I'm dead. I have to hit a 6-6, six, six, maybe. It just might work. It just might work. <sighs> Like, seriously, dude. Uh... I mean, look, they have 16 on board, right? <laughs> they have 16 on board. Um... It's amazing how often I'm drawing the torch, but it, it's actually kind of bad. It's actually kind of bad. Um, it, it, it's sort of a downside, really, right? I'm, I'm super dead here. I, dude, I kind of like this deck. I think I think we could do this again, but like actually make it an Aegwyn deck, like run more damage spells and more card draw. Because the way I kind of did this right now, it was a little meme right? Like it was like, I just did death rattles. I am so over this druid, dude. Miggle HP, dude, thanks for the seven months. 
<laughs> Serger looks good in the hat. Yeah, he's handsome. He really is quite a handsome Serger. I want to try this again. I, I think we can make this a real deck. The, the hat with like the egg wind scaling is a really fun idea, right? It's a really, really neat idea. Do I get Reno again? No, no, Reno! Uh, you rally with the frost wolves. Not even really that likely they get Reno. If I concede here. Not even that likely. Hey, Pokey the Gaming Panda, thanks for the two months. One more time. I'm gonna try. I, I'm not, I should have done it in casual, maybe, but I, you know, I like doing heroic runs, so. Yeah, if, uh, yeah, I, I think if my Cilium discovered one card, it would be totally, totally powerful. It would be a great card. It's really. <laughs> Good right now, especially when they copy it, right? I give in. I give in. Okay. 150 gold well spent, 125 gold spent on that pack. Reno! I mean, from a do I do I need to do I need to be a rogue? What what was the reason I was a rogue? Yeah, all the copying and stuff was what made it fun, right? Like this isn't even mage anyway, but I do need to be Reno, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm only gonna try one more time. I can't just waste gold all day trying to do this one meme thing, and we'll just save it for a future day, right? One more try. Why do you think different decks do good at different rank tiers? Uh, some decks play easier than others. Some decks are harder to play, so they don't do as well at lower tiers. Some decks just kind of curve out. You do your thing. It's very obvious. They're very safe and consistent. Other decks demand, like, you know, certain amounts of patience and uh, mulligans and, and certain things that really boost their win rate that Lower tier players don't always achieve. <laughs> Ugh, dust, get out of here. I want go. Okay, if we don't get Reno here. Uh, I don't know what we do. Maybe we do nothing. Reno! Okay, we're not gonna do Reno. Uh, we're gonna do... Thief Vandar. Thief Vandar, maybe. Still never really had a satisfying death rattle priest Vandar, to be honest. I can't remember ever having a satisfying uh, Death Rebel Priest Vandar. Big Demon Hunter? We could. We could do a Big Demon Hunter. Would we want discounts like this for Big Demon Hunter? Or do we still want the like value of the scouts? I like this is still probably good for a big demon hunter, right? Like there's there's big neutral demons. I don't know how many there are, but I'm thinking of at least Moarg, right? Okay, well. <laughs> this was incredibly disappointing. Uh these aren't there aren't any neutral demons. <laughs> Demons that are good. Are you kidding me? 
It's just literally just Moark. Oh my god. Why does everything fall apart today before I even start every time? Oh, what have I done? What have I done? Mm, proving grounds we can't really do, right? That's it's gonna be too hard to make anything stick with a bunch of eight eights and stuff. No, we won't do proving grounds. Any other good, uh. I think we just need other big stuff for um for rending ambush other big neutrals they don't have to be demons in this case but both our hero power and rending ambush like big in fact I, this may be too many big demons i might need more big neutrals <laughs> I mean, Epsilon's pretty cool. Dude, Neptulon's insane with Rending Ambush, actually. That seems crazy good. Um, so four big demons. That's probably enough for the demon side of this deck. Maybe... I've got two big neutrals. I probably want one more big neutral. Yasharaj? Yeah, Yasharaj could work, sure. Super greedy, but I like it. Uh, we could do a Vandar, yeah, actually. Yeah. Instead of Felscreamer, kind of the same thing, but better in a lot of ways. Well, I don't know. Vandar's really hard to protect in duels. Yeah, I don't know about that. Vandar's really hard to keep in duels. Duels, you, you don't get good picks usually, right? I don't I don't know if we can do that. That's actually pretty iffy. I think I think that might be a no. Too hard to protect in duels. Uh, okay, so for the rest of this, I need early game survivability cards. I probably don't even really need that much card draw given how expensive my deck is. I just need survivability, uh, maybe like discover style effects. Um, so, you know, I beam. Stuff that summons minions, maybe, that's not minions. Sigil. Aldraki Warblades. No, that's not good. We don't have attack synergies for Vandar. Um, Ivy Aim. The other I-Beam. What's it called? <laughs> Where'd it go? Where's the other I-Beam? It's three mana, right? What is it? Is it five mana? Well, no, no, here it is. Chaos Leech. Um, probably could do Zephyrus. Probably could. Any other really, really good uh, life gain cards for Demon Hunter early? Like removal and life gain bundled together. Probably in the two mana range. Hell Barrage is not exactly that, but kind of can be. Um,. Corvos is kind of that, you know. I mean, we got, yeah. The mini set minion? Hmm. Does have life steal. But am I going to have enough fell spells that I'm willing to play him on turn three? I kind of doubt it. I want to play it on three usually. Maybe just like insatiable fell hounds? No, that's a demon. That messes up my demon pool. <laughs> Summon two two demons with lifesteal. Yeah. It's not bad. I do like that it's a minion summoning card. Kind of like a sigil of summoning. Anything on one that's similar? Demon companion. Fell screen blast. Kind of don't hate just like mana burn. Maybe just Illidari Studies is pretty good, right? A lot of Outcast cards could fill gaps for us. 
I kind of like that. Flanking strike? Isn't that a, a, a hunter card? Oh, you mean flanking maneuver, I think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think flanking strikes the hunter one, yeah. I mean, Abyssal Depths is kind of a cool idea, but it gets worse probably as we go. Okay, this is a super, super greedy looking list, but we'll try it out. Not what we wanted to do. We wanted to play Reno shenanigans, but uh, we'll try. Okay, I have never played. I don't. I don't think I've ever played Demon Hunter Vandar. To be honest with you, I really don't think I've ever played this in my life. It's gonna be fun to see how it goes. I mean, if this deck works, it's gonna be awesome. Cause nothing better than cheesing out Neptulons, right? <laughs> like that's peak Hearthstone, really. I like Zlog a lot too. Vandar versus Elusia. So, turn five or six is where we really hit our power band, I'd say. Battlefield will be mine. Okay, uh, Yashra's actually really good with their hero power. Um, Sigil is the same mana cost as my hero power, though. I think I'm gonna try to win this game with hero powers, guys. I'm gonna really greed this a lot. I need to hit Neptulon. Or Moarg is great. Yeah, Moarg's awesome. Okay, cool. Let's go. Intriguing. Intriguing. What can I do for you? What can I do for you? Greedy gains with Z-Log? Oh my goodness. Sigil's not bad with Moarg. I mean, it's going to be cheap enough anyway, though, on four, so. I don't know. We'll see. Dude, this could hit Yasharaj. One mana next turn. I could play it with Vile Cole and then Yasharaj on five. But Hero Power just does the same or better, really. Let's just take the I Beam just in case. This is a this is a deck they can go face. I think that's fine. Moarg on four seems awesome. Sigil does not hit the Yasharaj. We'll save this for later. Maybe just Hero Power Vile Call on five. Gosh Rush with something on six. This is a very good turn four play, though. Man, this Hero Power is insane. This, and think, this used to be better. It got, like, giga nerfs. Oh, my God. I really barely played this. This is, this feels so nuts. How is this so good? Okay. We got this team. Yashiraj, there's really no bad hit. Karya and Raging Fell Screamer are the worst, but I, I wouldn't even say those are like disastrous, right? Oh my goodness. Zilag. I think I just throw this away. The one one here is unlikely to matter much, but here powers does nothing. I didn't want to have to kill this, you know. Might make a small difference on killing something. Who knows, right? Depending on breakpoints and stuff. Taint Heart Tormentor is so good to shut down their turn, dude. It's so good. It's so good. Six mana hysteria. You're kidding me. Hit this twice. Hit this twice. Oh my god. Dude, six mana hysteria is so perfect, dude. Oh my god. Go get him, Shelog! Oh! Mm, I actually don't really want that to attack, right? I think I'm actually technically a little better off with Shelog here, just straight up. Although, I don't always kill the... the mid... mid-da here. Mid-da. Mid-da. No, don't kill the mid-da. Yeah. Okay, so, G-Log, 
Why isn't Midda an elemental? Midda is a Naru. They're not they're not elemental beings. They're space chandeliers. Space wind chimes, basically. Oh well this summons Neptulon, which I mean, I guess these always die to the disciple, right? I can't really stop that. Unless I just ignore it. <laughs> I mean, there's something to that. Um, could just kill this instead. Well, not not really, though. Am I better off just killing that and saying, screw it, let's go, and just killing the two minions on board and hitting face for three, right? And developing a, a Neptulon. This just attacks once, but then I have the Neptulon attack as well, right? So it does mean that the uh, the four twos might die. Time to dilly dally. I don't know how this works. <laughs> I don't know how this works. Let's get let it go. Okay, only three to face. Are you kidding me, dude? That sucks. Do you guys know how it works? Like if the if the I guess the random attack hits the disciple there are they still immune probably not no after this because the attack would have already resolved so they would not still be immune now they would not I need another minion okay cool great news now does Neptulon attack first I don't know. This Inquisitor is kind of dumb until I have a weapon. It doesn't really do anything. It's basically garbage until I get a weapon. Okay. So this is certainly enough to win, but uh, can it live? Can it live? Why do we have this? We should just run like, uh, well, I don't know. There weren't, there weren't a lot of good demons. So I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't know what, but not, not, probably not this. Maybe a, uh, void hound. Although that was a little expensive. <sighs> okay. Do they have like a whirlpool? Do they have, I don't know. Uh, this does deal 16 and this deals 8, obviously, so that's 24. Even if they cleared the Inquisitor and have 16, which that wouldn't be enough for lethal yet. I love that my last two cards are the ones that it both demand demons and I don't have any demons left. Be quick. Thank you, Duck. Delightful ordering. This in hand as well. Light. This actually might be a little bit of overkill, honestly. Uh, I can clear that with these right now, so unless they do something to clear a minion, I think this is just lethal. Yeah, okay, sweet. Do these, like, get to it? How much damage does this do when it's by itself, by the way? I've never... If these actually... This is so much damage on its own right. Oh, my God. It's actually... 24 damage. You're kidding me. One Neptulon surviving is... I've never actually done the math before on that. It's 24 damage. That's insane. Uh, I don't know, man. Our spells costing less is actually pretty dang intriguing with, like, Sigil and Rending Ambush. Sometimes that's going to punish us, but if we can cheat a giant minion. Oh, true. Crystal gem for hero power is very insane. Yeah, that's true, too. Yeah, it's probably better on average. I mean, the only issue is, you know, having enough neutrals. Like, we have quite a few random demons, but yeah, maybe it's fine. I do like that more. Okay, here's demons, but not neutrals. Neutrals, but too small sort of cards I don't need. I think this is still the pick. Bellhound is a little risky, but we can hopefully play it out to points where it's not too bad. Okay, that game was scary. I I, I don't know. I don't feel like we really... 
I don't know. I don't feel like we achieved a lot. Vandar Stormpike versus Mozaki. But we won. Why do we need them to be neutral? Uh, hero power uh, discounts neutral minions. So, I think first and foremost, I'm going to dig for neutral minions. Of which we did get one, which is probably the important part. A Neptulon off the top would be a home run. Do -do -do. I mean, still though, with Crystal Gem, I'm pretty much always going to get a, what, turn four Yasharaj if he's in hand? Something like that. This does not need to be here, by the way. This is stupid. I hate this being here. I mean, yeah, once I get a weapon, sure. Job's done. Great. But until then. Kind of dumb. That's a good counter to an early Yasharaj, but I think it's still worth it to get the Yasharaj, right? Hopefully it rolls like a G-Log and we just clear this, you know? Oh my god, of course. <laughs> Naturally. Uh, I guess Neptulon is the next best bet, although not really because I can't I can't activate the Neptulon. Uh, nothing is good. Uh, G-Log was the, the best hit. Of course. I, I, uh, uh. <sighs> I just narrated the worst. I mean, listen, the, 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 the Neptulon is still very good. I'm not mad. Obviously, this is an insane turn. You can't be unhappy with this, but it's just, you know, it, it kind of all fell apart there. Did not go how we wanted at all. So this actually leaves space for Yashraj to go again. If they don't clear it. They might just say, I'm going to ignore all this and... Hit you in the face really hard, but Moarg and honestly Pit Commander both kind of punished that a little bit. Uh, Rending Ambush next turn's pretty sweet. I'm gonna go ahead and play this just in case. Need that life gain sometimes, right? So. Moarg is awesome life gain as well, yeah, okay. So, hopefully, not like infinite Frost Novas and Freezes and stuff just yet, because if not, this board is completely busted. Blizzard here, okay, sure. It's really not too bad. We're just biding our time. Rending ambush summons Zlog and Illidari Inquisitor here, but uh, honestly, I don't, I don't really want that. You know, I think we just take another minion here off Yasharaj and chill. I think we make them have it. Next turn, we either reload with G-Log or maybe just put in a Priestess for some extra damage, right? Protect the board here a little bit space-wise. Don't play the Vile Call. That's that's kind of a low roll. That's not very good. Pit Commander was the only good roll left, though. So, okay. I can't... I mean, this would be one of those games where I complain about wide board freezes, but, uh, you know, I, I played a 20-mana turn four, so screw me. I can't... I can't complain. <laughs> <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> I summoned 20 mana worth of stuff on turn four. Uh, you know, get out of here, Regis. How's your day been? It's pretty good. It's been pretty good. Just a brain freeze. Okay. I think Neptulon's more threatening than the Asharaj, unless I guess they're trying to kill the Asharaj, but. Oh, they got both. Okay. Makes sense. It's been for t Whoa. Oh my god, dude. These freezes! Going insane. We'll wait for Zlog for a reload, I think. I mean, the eight damage here is not bad, but this is still six, so. This is a little better as like a wide board reload sometimes, right? Oh my God. I hope they hit the frost bolt here. The frost over would really suck. Rain freeze is fine too, okay. That's totally fine. Yeah. This is lethal, right? Sweet! 
Okay. Well, that was stupid. <laughs> that was unfair. I don't feel good about that at all. I feel terrible. Pretty terrible. Uh, yeah, looming presence could help me get more neutral minions. A little bit of life gain's fine. Yeah. Oh my god, big neutrals. This is the dream bucket. I mean, these are big demons, but we actually need more big neutrals, I think. If I could go back and construct the deck, I would cut Illidar Inquisitor and add one more big neutral, probably. Maybe even two more. I think we had too much focus on the demon hunter side of it and not enough focus on the neutral side of it, because ultimately the Vandar hero power is better than the demon hunter cheat cards, right? Sigil of Reckoning and Fell Screamer and uh, Rending Ambush can't really keep up with the quality of the hero power, frankly. They're just not as good, particularly with Crystal Gem, so in hindsight, the deck kind of needs to be shaped a little differently, perhaps. So yeah, I'll just grab neutrals here if I can. You actually don't want three, you just want two. I mean, three is not the end of the world, I guess, but two is probably ideal. Azoth is not the best one, but I mean, God, an Azoth that summons a Moarg would, would be worth it in its own right, so maybe it is still the best one. Okay. Getting a good elemental in the pool for an Azoth would make the difference, though. It's really all I have, right, are elementals and demons. Okay. I don't really have a lot of advantage in hero powering quite yet, do I? I mean, I think I'm better off just going for for Moarg already. Gonna need more mana for that. Kind of dies for free here, but that's not bad. Then we just have a good Nazoth. Well. Can't, I'm Please. dead if I don't. I don't have a choice. <laughs> it's not like I get a choice. I'm dead. I have to do it. I'm actually dead. Hero power then. Oh, I could have. Oh my god, I'm dumb. You're right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Coin threw me off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's free. It's a free hero power. Yeah, of course. I'm dumb. Stupid. Estupido. Regis, get it together. It's free. Okay, so still dying, but not quite. This is pretty good this turn. Um, the Zoth next turn is a little worse with this guy in because Moarg is better. Might just be better off with Idle and just wipe the board depending on kind of what's left and how scary it looks, right? Then we have Rending Ambush, but that's not great for Nazoth. Could It kind of could be depending, I suppose. Oh my God, dude. That is so gross. Well, it's definitely rending, rending, uh, or I mean, uh, top of the idol, but is it gonna be big enough? Almost always, right? Literally almost impossible not to be big enough. Um. So Yasharaj obviously clears, but I don't need the Yasharaj necessarily. Priestess of Fury also clears. I think the question is, which do I want in my hand first? I don't really need a priestess. Hashraz is probably fine. Okay, so a little bit of damage left here, but not too scary. Depends on the follow-up, of course. This, I, I kind of need this to hit the right dude. Is Rending Ambush enough? I, I've got a Yasharaj and a Nazoth. Oh, probably not enough now. A couple things live. <laughs> That's a funny interaction. <laughs> Um, I could probably get away with a Lockalar here. To get it in the Nazoth pool. Okay, apparently it does not work the way I thought. Oh no, I hit Naz Oh, I hit Yashraj. Oh god. Okay, so we just need a high roll here. Oh god, dude. Oh, I didn't hit the Lockalar! I wanted to play it this turn. Oh boy. This is risky now. Cause if I hit that little lifesteal guy, I'm almost dead. 
Let's see. Okay, oh, our good. Life still guy is not really dead. I, I would have healed, you know, usually six. Maybe only three, though, because of Divine Shield, right? But this is certainly better. We take this. Uh, and now we have uh, Rending, which hits Z-Log and probably Ashraj, but not always, which usually clears the board. Could try to go for a Chaos Leech instead. Chaos Leech plus Vile Call is actually pretty interesting. Leaves only two damage up. I heal a ton. I actually have spell damage thanks to the Moon Kitten. It's a little bit safer, I think, actually. A little bit safer. Just plays around any kind of emergencies and stuff. I think I like this a little more. Okay, so now Ambush... Still hits Z log and something. Uh, I don't know. Maybe Ashraj, maybe not. <sighs> okay, cool. Oh, God, dude. I don't think I've played any of these three games especially well, but the deck is just OP. <laughs> it's like when your deck is good enough, you don't have to be good, right? I, I feel like I don't see. Whoa. Oh, my God, dude. Th this is an ultra rare mantle of ignition you never see. It's like unheard of. It was so busted, it moved ultra rare. Mulch Madness. Whenever a neutral minion dies in your turn, gain one mana crystal for that turn only. That, that's not really very good for us. That's super hard to use. Elixir of Vigor. After you play a minion, shovel two copies of your deck. They cost three. Now, that's pretty cool with our big minions, but I don't have enough card draw to utilize that, I don't think. You know, I would need a ton of card draw to make that good. So, Mantle... Mantle hits... God, it's just like hits nothing. It's literally Chaos Legion, I beam, and that's it. Can't be Mantle. Normally, it's just so busted, but I don't think two cards makes it good enough. I guess it's Elixir of Vigor, dude. I've never played this in my life, but Elixir of Vigor might actually be... Mantle sucks? I hope you mean in this deck, because Mantle is one of the most busted passives ever. Um... Which is easier to fix? Getting more spells for Mantle or getting more um, card draw for Elixir? I don't know. Steam and Hunter, they have a lot of card draw and a lot of targeted spells. You guys are very split. You know what that means? <laughs> you know what that means? It's poll time. Let's see. Who's got it? Uh, Immortal Spork. I don't know if I saw your sub, but thank you, Immortal Spork. View results. Which passive do you guys want? Oh, God, Elixir is owning the vote. Are you serious? So many of you in chat were talking about Mantle. You were, like, really sold on, on getting card cards for Mantle. But it's not even close. Okay. There is no way this poll shifts. This is... Too many votes are in. We're calling it. Even though the, there's a return here. They we're calling it for Elixir of Vigor. The results are in. The election has been called. The newsroom feels safe in calling the election for Elixir of Vigor. It is. It is. You guys are gaining a lot of ground here, but it's not going to be enough. It's a ton of votes already. All right. Elixir it is. So card draw is very good. These are actually pretty decent neutrals. There's no card draw here, so pretty decent neutrals, actually. Um, there is that little bit of risk that, like, I'm putting kind of bad cards in the deck, of course, but eh, they're not bad. They're, they're not, you know, I wouldn't want these in the deck, but these I can maybe live with. I have to be careful because I don't want too many neutral minions. But since the other buckets also had neutral minions. Infinite Lothab? We could have infinite Lothabs, yeah. Indeed. Forgot Mantle's in the game? Yeah, it's, it's been ultra rare for a while now. 
I feel like remember like priests just said crazy things when it came out. True, neutral fives I can play here part one play on two is needed. Yeah, like a Moonfang on two or Lothab on two could be pretty crazy. Moonfang probably better on two, if I had to guess. Um, we got a local R in hand. Okay, that's a good neutral. We can probably keep a rending ambush, but Taint Heart Tormentor doesn't seem necessary. It's a mirror match, man. What makes you so sure of that? I want better I want better results than this, right? This is just such a powerful card. Despite us not having played it yet at all, I, I think it's such a powerful card that that we're happy to uh to keep it. Now these are two decent neutrals for sure. <laughs> three mana localars in the deck, three mana moargs in the deck. Oh my god, what on our what are the chances of two Elixir of Vigor. Uh, I haven't seen a Battle Tactics Vandar in a month, number one, right? Like, I haven't even seen one of these in forever. Number two, we both got Elixir of Vigor, which is a passive I never see. I, I haven't seen somebody play Elixir of Vigor in, like, I don't even know. Year, like, a year. I don't know when the last time I ran into an Elixir of Vigor was. And we both got it the same game. That's crazy. Infinite value here. It's just going to be about who gets that big hit window, you know? Um, okay, so I mean, obviously we have a good opener, but Z-Log's pretty good too for this uh, rending ambush, I'd say. Okay, I got some three mana Moarg Forge Fiends in my deck. Looming Presence is a little bit of card draw, so once we stuff the deck with cheap stuff, that might be really nice. Uh, next turn we can Hero Power, Local R. Uh, hopefully I hit another neutral to support that, because currently doesn't do a lot. I think we're just going to go face here, right? Is there any logic to, like, Fell Screamer Z-Log instead? Can Z-Log on six regardless... I don't think there's a lot of logic to that. Hero power here doesn't do anything, so... Hmm. It's free, but also it doesn't do anything, so... It's an interesting dynamic, right? Maybe this lives? Is there a world where this hits for 16? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, they, you know, I don't assume they have easy answers to this, honestly, in their deck. No hero power answer, you know, might have to discover an answer. Which isn't really that likely either. There's, you know, a lot of just random spells that don't deal damage. It's not hard either, but, uh, you know, I, I'd give this odds of, like, maybe north of 50% surviving here. I had to just totally shot in the dark pick how likely this was to live. Ooh, okay. So that might change those odds. Uh, any reason to hold an attack here? I think we just I think we just attack here first, see if it's like a freezing trap, right? And then hit for 16 maybe. Oh, it's actually explosive. Wow. Sniped the explosive, dude. That's wild. Good on him though. Good on him though, dude. Not even mad. That's just awesome. So we'll just do it again. Local. Uh Really doubt we outcast this often, but it seems a little more flexible, I guess. Okay, so can they answer this again? Another localar. Localar. Let your with Not your bad. Localar. Zero mana localar is pretty good. Crazy inspiring presence discounts, man. This can't have been active, right? Because, well, how much did he? Oh, maybe it's one mana. Maybe it is actually. I take that back. Might be. Might actually be just fine. Elise discount here. Wow, Elise is crazy. I wonder if that was in their starter deck or if they got that in a bucket. I haven't seen that in a bucket, but feels like a starter deck. Ooh, mage armors have to keep them alive against the uh, eight eight here. I see. Lothab's insane! That stops my rending ambush! Wow! 
Uh, I'm only doing 16 here and they have 24, so I, I don't actually have the lethal setup here. Yashraj is a little expensive. Oh my god, dude, they're making a comeback here, man. I think we still go face for the record. They're really light on resources. Uh, let's just check them, you know? Like, yes, they can clear the board currently, but then hopefully, like, you know, a G log might just deal eight. Uh, so on. We've got currently reading ambush to summon a G log and a Yasharaj, which is awesome. I'm actually going to get to play a good rending ambush, maybe. Finally, maybe. Let's see. Oh, what? Is, dude, they are getting the most insane discover options. They're actual gods. How are they so good at discovering? Now it's a local R. That's even better. That's awesome because I can attack again. Um, I get one less minion, but I, I clear the board, right? Hopefully this doesn't hit the... Oh, it doesn't really matter, I guess. It doesn't make much difference, does it? Um, do I clear the Elise? Uh, I got a decent chance at lethal here. I guess, yeah, just just because. Well, it's not that good. It's not a good chance at lethal, but clearing the minion and hitting for six is pretty nuts. Okay. Third two. Big board. We're 24. They're out of cards. We, we look very favored here. But miracles can happen, obviously. That guy's gross. That guy's gross. Not enough, though. This was absolutely a match of titans. I only drew one card that was cheap, dude. How sad. Elixir of Vigor did very little. Cool. Did I ever manage to try to summon Lokalar back in the day? I don't remember doing that, to be honest. I didn't really spend that much time in AV. It was like my least favorite of the um, uh, battlegrounds. I liked the I, I liked Warsong Gulch and uh, 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 the Rathi Basin much better, personally. Like the smaller scale stuff. Because I was in a really good guild, and if we played in the small scale ones, like if we got like our five or ten best guys, you know, for... For those, we would just dominate, you know. So that was more fun. Whereas AV, I don't think we ever got like a full guild group together for any reason. So it was always, you know, maybe five or ten of us and 30 randoms or something. Yeah, and it was just too long, exactly. These you know, literally days long fights and stuff. Um, I don't know. Bag of coins is pretty intriguing, right? Because we can cheat out big stuff, but. Banana Split's kind of intriguing, too, because I can make copies of big stuff. I think probably cheating stuff out is better for us on average. Because um, there may still be turns where I want to play, like, you know, a Yasharaj on turn three instead of turn, you know, whatever. And Bag allows that sometimes. Mm, okay, yeah, these are big. <laughs> <laughs> that's the only metric we value if they're big yeah okay they're big whatever yeah we do it <sighs> Panda versus Elise. the league of explorers cannot fail this battlefield will be mine Oh my. Um You know, I got to say I don't think the Zoth is really a home run on our neutral minions. Because I want to play them like earlier. I think I will keep a Glog though. That's uh just a really powerful card we're finding out. It feels like it's always a good finisher for us. So Okay, Sigil z is kind of fun. I, I need one more neutral, though. I need to top deck Neptulon! After this animation. I thought I timed that well, but <laughs> apparently there's just a million animations. You're kidding. Okay, book and scrying orb. Scrying orb is pretty scary with, like, priest shenanigans, right? Okay, Lake Thresher is not a Neptulon, but it's it's a card, at least. It's It's playable. Um, I doubt I play it next turn. I, I think I actually just prefer getting that Colossus down ASAP. Maybe making it as cheap as quick as possible, because that's like a home run kind of card. 
Oh, that does make them look a little more tempo-y than I expected, but I'm still not in love with the Lake Thresher on it, honestly. Uh, coin, Fell Screamer, that makes that five. Yes, that's not a good play either. I could just go for this kind of mid-game line where I go Thresher, Fell Screamer, Z-Log on five, as opposed to pushing the Colossus. If I push the Colossus right now, it goes to six on four. And then it goes to four on five. That's too slow, I think. I think I actually do make this move. I think I need to get going faster against this deck. I think if I wait too long, this is just too susceptible to like a single removal, a drown or whatever, and it's just gone. I think I'm better off playing. Um... Oh, I still have coin, though. I forgot I'm not actually going to four next turn. So I actually kind of have to vile call into Fell Screamer into Z Log. Unless I had bag of coins. This isn't like a perfect curve, but I do think I need to go faster than the Colossus allows. If I draw something like, um, you know, Moonfang, I might still hear power next turn. As opposed to like vile call. I don't think I coin Fell Screamer, though, right? I think I'm going to use coin to gap up to... Well, I could also go Sigil instead of Fell Screamer on five, but it doesn't leave me a lot of spare mana to do anything interesting. I don't know. I don't, whatever. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Um, oh, that's really good. Wow. Softening up my boy there. Six and five? <sighs> Let's see if that's like kind of good, but not like that good. Mm. If I'd had Seamon from the start, right, and I could have got him down to like a good three mana, that would have been sick. Let's stick to the plan for now. Uh, I don't know. Um, I think that the big question here is, do I go for Sigil or do I go for Fell Screamer this turn? Sigil saves you the mana on the Z-Log, so I can do more on turn five. But I don't really have a turn five play at the moment, right? I, I would end up playing a Fell Screamer right now, so it doesn't feel especially good. So I, I think Fell Screamer gets, like, you know, Priest slash Druid's pretty good in, in general. Four attack for Priest stuff. Druid's not great at clearing boards. This probably works a little better. It's just that the Sigil's getting kind of diminishing results here. It's not really doing a lot. Oh. Now that's something to do on five, suddenly. And I could use it to protect the Z-Log. So now I think we go Sigil. I, I guess, is there a risk? I don't know how Sigil works. Do... Do I... Always get this, or if I top deck a demon, is there a chance I play the other demon? It says at the start of your turn. <sighs> I don't know. Does it count the top deck? Because if so, and I got like a, a Fellhound, that might be a game losing play, right? Chat says Sigil goes first. No board space. Well, I'm assuming these aren't around, but uh, to be fair, they may not be. I guess we'll see. Yeah, we, we can trade in, right? Okay. Do we trade in both or just one for the Lothab? Probably just one for the Lothab, right? Okay, it did go first. That's excellent news. Excellent news. I mean, I think Lothab is absolutely worth it, right? Because this board's going to be very awkward to deal with. Um... I can even hero power the Lothab too. Oh no, I can't. It's not guaranteed. It's oh no, I better not. It's a risk. I have three neutrals, so no. Let's not throw our turn. Let's let's make sure we do this. Do we hit the shellfish again in hopes that it um, snipes that thing? It goes to five, so I'd still have to hit it. If that hit it three times, I don't think so. Oh, I mean, if it kills the Z log, like I'm not thrilled, but I'm I'm not. I'm not guaranteed to anyway. Um, I don't know though, man. It sure would be nice if it died right now. 
Do I am I am I sad if I push it to one versus three? I need a plan. I'm a little sad because it trades into the Z log at three anyway. So this would be kind of a waste. Dilly dilly. I might just try. If we snipe it, it's such a big win that it's really game changing. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. Uh, okay, guys. <laughs> guys. <laughs> guys. <laughs> I mean, come on, guys. I mean, I guess in that case, it was kind of free anyway, because uh, maybe these will die. It'll die as like a leftover, but come on, guys. Jeez, guys. <laughs> it's like, guys, I pointed the way you wanted it to go. Um, okay, so I'm hoping they don't have a lot to do this turn because the Lothab blocks them out, right? That's that's my hope here. Wow. Okay, they have a lot to do. Screw me, I guess, huh? Jeez, that was an insane play. Crap! Ah, oh, dude, the Lothab basically did nothing. Well, I mean, you know, may have stopped a slightly more optimal play, but that's a pretty dang good one, so I don't see how. Oh, I feel super far behind now. I feel really far behind now. Next turn, I can see a mod. Worst case, maybe draw some cards or whatever, but I'm, I'm really falling behind bad, and they're hitting me in the face a lot. They don't seem to care about my stuff it's in the slightest. Okay. Even that's sort of annoying. Ooh, bag of coins could make for a pretty cool play, though. I'm not... Like, this mill plan they're going for, by the way, completely irrelevant to me, because I have infinite cards. But, of course, it's scary from a 7-7 seven -seven standpoint. There's just a lot of 7-7s seven -sevens right now. That is far more terrifying. Um... I guess we'll test uh, some stuff here. The real problem at the moment is that Siamat doesn't really kill a 7-7 seven -seven at all. Just need to figure out a secret a little bit, maybe. Might just go Inquisitor and hit a 7-7 seven -seven instead. Bag of coins, maybe just to kill that guy. Maybe test the secret, I guess. I don't know. We still don't have a weapon, by the way. Kind of crazy to think about. Um, hero power is free. Not always because okay. you don't always hit CMI, right? Not even necessarily playing a neutral this turn. Thirteen. Oh, I'm just dead now. Really? I gotta. I gotta go for chaos leaves. Yeah. Just dead otherwise. This is not a neutral, it doesn't discount. So, only if you play CMA and hit it is hero power free, right? But it's not guaranteed to hit, obviously. Well, we're very far behind now, almost dead. Uh, probably dead, honestly, soon. If they trade a little, Siamont could pull it back some. Uh, Moarg obviously is a big heal, but may not really be enough. That Adora, dude, I'm just like, that was such an insane play. Now, the good news is they might top deck some stocks that are kind of weak plays for a while, but they're not that bad even. Dealing two is pretty good at a base, maybe. I don't know that it, it would get played. It's like that totem, that serpent totem or whatever back in the day, but... It's not like it's a dead card, especially when they're close to lethal, right? So this feels like a trade instead of a face, right? Wow, they're actually activating this guy. This game plan, dude, I guess they're going to have a Zyrella, but I just have a, a, a giant deck. Oh, but I can't kill all these. That's a bigger problem, really. Three mana Illidari again, though, man. Like, I'm getting a ton of these Illidaris over and over again. Is that enough? Like... Now these don't come at zero, do they? No, because it says they cost three, right? Always. Can I get another good three mana play here? I'm, I'm alive at one technically if I don't, but I'm drawing so many... Oh, I don't even need to... 
Just kill one of these. I don't even need to play that. What am I doing? Screw that. I just draw two off these. Moorg for six. Really? Moorg for six, huh? <sighs> Hero power might be free if I hit that that uh, Siamot, but I can't. I can't guarantee it. Rush? Gain immune? Oh. It's gonna be impossible to play, really. Oh my god, I don't know the locations on these. Ah! Burning some cards, but we got plenty, that's okay. Probably the idol might have actually been pretty nice. Ugh, damage, gross. No, stop. Okay, Lothab for three. I'm not hero powering enough, but I just, I'm barely alive, right? I'm just kind of hanging on, I think. Um. Okay, Lothab for three, I don't know. I hope they're just baited into more of this, like, mill plan. I mean, I might still be in a little bit of trouble because they've had so many of these die, but, you know, theoretically... I'm not. If I could just get one turn to like safely play a Moar gear, I'll feel so much happier. Like if they like trade this guy animal somehow. That seems impossible, but you never know. Kill your thing. Oh no, I killed my guy. No. I'm dead. Looks like. Oh my god, my stock's coming back to haunt me, dude. That's actually fine. I mean, I, I don't love the extra minion, but it's not lethal, at least. Oh my god, dude. My stocks! They're coming back to get me, dude. Uh, so this is lethal, right? It's not enough, I mean. It just hit. Hit. They got 11. I'm only at 9. Yasharaj doesn't hit anything fast enough. Pit Commander, could it hit anything good? Another Pit Commander. That's not really good enough. Kartut might be enough if it hit a Kartut. Am I desperate enough that that's my best play, I guess, is the one question, right? I tried to go for Looming Presence into something, but that's... Pretty impossible. Tormentor, yeah, but I need the healing and the multiple bodies of taunts, I think. And regardless, I, I think this is my best out. Better than Yashiraj, because it has taunt by default. So boom, boom, boom. I mean, these are just like 50-50s anyway, almost. Yeah, we'll try. I don't know. It's a possible place. Oh, evolve means they can't attack. Evolve means they can't attack. Do they have one damage to the face? Either <laughs> one, boys. Let's go. Oh no, they have it. Shoot, that's sad. Oh, they got it, man. That's sad. Oh my god, dude, this Z-Log. You're kidding me, dude! That Adara was so insane! I gotta pee, I gotta pee. I'll be right back. I'm about to pee my Alrighty, tough game, tough game. Almost got there, though. I felt, I felt like that was gonna be an interesting endgame if they didn't get the damage, you know? Like, if it was... Oh my god, didn't I give up Hill earlier or the other thing earlier? Not that I even think Cold War would necessarily be good for this deck. Um, I think we take Exerciser. I actually kind of need a weapon still for all these stupid Illidaris. Also, I think it's just probably the best guard. Worshipper's a low-cost neutral, which is kind of a downside to us. You know, not, not really that much of a downside, I guess, but a little bit. Uh, okay, yeah, this is a big package, sure. Card draw here, though, is pretty interesting on the skull. But I don't really want to spend six mana on that. It would make the three-cost... Vigor cards totally free. I think the issue though is outcasting this. How would I ever outcast this? This deck is so hard to outcast because my hand's always full of really expensive stuff. So I don't I don't think that's the right shape of card draw, unfortunately. I think we go here. 
Plus, Ancient Void Hound is like one of my favorite cards in the history of Hearthstone, so <laughs> let's go! I love it. Oh my, good neutrals, okay. Decent uh, mid game here. I can kind of keep this to just isolate these two neutrals, I think, right? Exerciser's awesome against Paladin. Um, yeah, let's do this, this is fine. Yeah, I think we can work with this. Okay, well, Yashiraj might eat a, a discount here and there. Like, we may split our discounts a little bit, but ultimately, Yashiraj is so powerful. I'm I'm okay if he's, like, you know, a turn later, just because the discounts get split. That's not the end of the world, probably. Bag of coins. Oh, my goodness. Um, I can play Yashiraj this turn. Do I have hand space? Yes. So I got a two. This is another three. Oh, no, I can't. Oh, yeah, I'm at one. I got it. No, two and three is five. No, I can't play him this turn. I can't play him this turn, guys. I can play Seamoth this turn, but let's wait. Um, Let's wait. Only five. <sighs> Almost made a boo-boo. <sighs> Counting is very difficult, as some of you know. Okay. Oh my god, is Z-Log ever just better than Yashiraj? Because of the way these minions are currently lined up? And because he snowballs? I I actually think, yeah, I think Z-Log's better. But I don't know, I could put Z-Log behind a Yashiraj, right? So, same time... Maybe not better. No, I don't. I don't know. I don't. I don't think he's better. I, I, do I risk a hero power here? Because if it misses, I'm kind of screwed. Oh, can it miss? No, because it doesn't hit this. It can't miss, right? It's always free. I mean, it always hits Yashiraj. Yeah. Okay. I don't. I mean, I, I think that's true, but I guess I don't know 100%. I mean, this also snowballs, right? It can actually hit another Yashiraj. Yeah, I mean, it's the same story for Neptulon, right? Like, the Neptulon's awesome. Like, <laughs> this is turn three. I can't really be that salty about this, but at the same time, Neptulon's, like, not my favorite minion here, you know? Just, the, the four twos kind of die for free. But again, I mean, it's turn three. I, I, anyone who complains about this has to be the biggest jerk on earth. <laughs> like, there is no reasonably minded person who can complain about Neptulon on turn three with a Yashiraj, right? It's just not something you're allowed to complain about, I think. Because I can also just hit for like 24 here if I want, although apparently not actually. Exerciser's pretty nuts here though, and I have the Yashiraj too, so I'm not like sacrificing too much board or anything in this world, am I? Take no prisoners. Take no prisoners. Uh, just remember, there's like some weird interaction with this, right? It, it goes back to 4-4, four, four, doesn't it? It goes back to 4-4, four, four, I think. This doesn't actually kill these. I just remembered this weird interaction. Where's their weak point? If I pop the shield first and then attack, I think it'll work. But I have to kill the other one, too. I'll lose my Neptulon. 
Yeah, it becomes a 4-4. Yeah, it becomes a 4-4 again. Yeah, it's really a weird interaction. So I think I actually have to do this in a strange way here just to, just to clear one. Not like the best turn, but it's certainly not a terrible turn. I don't know if that's worth it or not. Like, I say four mana, so it probably is, but... Eh, Moon Fang's actually not bad. I mean, you know, it's not a Colossus of the Moon, maybe. It doesn't represent as much, like, face pressure, but still not bad. Yeah, the Avenging Armaments, I, I realized it after I played, but I'm not sure the weapon was actually the best play that turn, given, given that scenario, but... Probably not terrible. Oh, yeah, Shiraj is dead. That's sad. Thought we might get more out of him, honestly. So see him out here is kind of free. I guess actually Moonfang is kind of free too. Ooh. Sigil hits currently Zlog. Next turn. I could make a just giga turn next turn, right? Because I'll have Zlog and I could play Siamat or even Lokalar. Depending on board and stuff. Yeah, this has put me behind a little bit, but not really, because I still have the Moonfang and the weapon, right? So. I don't think it puts me too far behind. I think it's okay. <laughs> don't I want to play Z-Log, though, for the extras? Uh, Colossal Minions, you don't have to play from hand. They're, they're, that's what Colossal means. They're not like a battle cry. Maybe that's what you mean. I'm not sure what you mean. It'll still summon the stocks, because that's what Colossal means. When summoned, spawns X additional appendages. Oh, you mean from the Vigor? Oh, 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 oh. I don't care about too many extra Z-Logs. I just want to win the game, right? Like, um, extra local R's are just as awesome in my book, I think. Okay, so local R here usually does okay work. Siamat. Uh, yeah, this, I mean, it's like, how much do I respect these stocks, right? I think I just do this. Do I want the six face damage, though, right? Like, uh, uh, surely the stocks will kill the 4-1, but maybe we don't risk it on the 4-4. That's asking a little more. Yeah, six face damage matters a lot. I think this is the thing. If the 4-1 lives, I will be incredibly angry, but it won't be like game losing or anything. So surely this is the play. Protect a ton of lethal threat this way. Okay. So, uh, Nizoth is actually insane right now. Um, they could get a stock instead of the Z-Log, which would be worse, but we have Elemental. We have a Beast, although it's not looking like it's going to die, but I can maybe kill it off. Um, the light dims. Actually, Neptulon as well, so we might get a hand instead of a... Oh, my God. Okay, so this always hits the Zoth. That makes it three. Am I better off just going for... Take no I think Nazoth is insane here. Now, this will go to three this time, so that's fine. Um. Yeah, I think Nazoth has to be the thing. Even if I get a bad... Uh, even if I get a bad elemental it's still a demon a beast and like the moon fang alone pretty much makes it worth it really i mean god siamat the yasharaj sure isn't bad either though <laughs> it's like really not bad uh get to hit phase for six i still get a monster board uh no i think this is better i take it back a 10 10 is pretty dang good 10 10 is pretty dang good I'm not sure if it's better to clear that or not. Just could just kind of ignore it, but it makes sense to clear against Paladin, I think. Yeah, that guy's a low roll, but ultimately still a monster board. Yeah, okay. So a lot of cheap Yasharaj in the deck. Cheap Siamat, cheap... Uh, what else have I actually played? 
Oh, great sword's good. Is it enough to catch up though? We have 22 on board right now. Needs to be something that my weapon doesn't resolve, which seems... Oh, that's pretty good! Clears both minions here. That's insane. Not bad. They get another one. It doesn't really do much against the Tintin here, but still pretty gross. Pretty gross. Okay, so that pushes each of those to three so I can play both. That's pretty insane. I think we will. Hopefully this locks out the game. It's kind of overkill of anything, honestly, but... Sure. Local art is just killing, uh... Oh, Karya, cool. Could be dead, honestly. It's not impossible to die in duels at this stage, right? It's unlikely. Lothad locking out a lot of stuff, but... Not impossible, really. Summon a Ragnaros, play a nine mana, um... Uh, yeah, you know thing that copies minions as one ones whose name I can't think of at the moment uh, and then hit me in the face for rag with rag three times that could happen what's that called why can't I think of the name angel reflections is that what it is yeah okay angel reflections Seen crazier things happen, right? <laughs> it's not impossible. All right. Um, man, these are big dudes. Uh, I don't love the stuff being set to one with Geppetto, though. I don't really think these increase the quality of my deck. No, I think we're, I think we're fine. Geppetto is really not that good for us. I, like, I, okay, I, oh my god, I really want to leave a YouTube comment right now. It's driving me crazy. Oh, I hate when people leave YouTube comments. I don't have time to respond to them right away. I hate when there's false information being spread. I have to stop it. Okay, Lothab and Yashraj are insane together. Yeah, this is good. Ben Jim Jam, it is you. Yes. Probably. Are you Benjamin Thomason? This is, n oh, I gotta, I'm trying to find the Discord post. Because it's not right. And we know this because of, um, bar with no name. I'm trying to find exactly what we're, yes, yeah, someone is wrong on the internet. Exactly. And I must stop it. It must be destroyed. Uh, well, I'll, I'll deal with it later. I'll deal with it later. Okay, awesome. Yasharaj on uh, four. Yeah, Yasharaj on four. Okay, we can live with that. <laughs> but Benjamin Jam, I, I gotta be honest, it, it, regardless of, of whether you're wrong or right about this particular interaction, you left a really annoying YouTube comment. It's very condescending. It's very condescending. 
the winky face at the end and s assuming I'm not in the Discord are both kind of condescending. Like, join the Discord. There's a lot of info there. That's kind of a jerk. Like, why would you say it like that? Like, I, I, I just hate comments like that. Uh, okay, this is... Uh, this is awesome, yeah. We're going to be at three again next turn. Do, do, do. Okay, uh, we play uh, Shards on 4. We don't load them now. Yeah, that's fine. No need to load them this early. Uh, I'm gonna find you exactly what you need to see if you just give me a minute, but I just don't want to do it on stream I gotta wait till after stream Okay, Yashiraj is awesome. Might die, but hopefully he gets a snowball ahead. Hit the Yashiraj. I kept wanting to hit the three many Yashiraj. We never do. Look, Lars, not bad. Free eight eights are good. Do we try to capitalize next turn with a Lothab? Depends if this lives or not, I guess. I mean, are we just hitting for 26 next turn? Do I resolve the board because I worry about like a no fin buff? With Lothab, I don't worry about a no fin buff. Go Lothab Sigil too. Oh, no fin already happened. Okay. Well, that doesn't kill the Yashiraj yet, though. Oh, it does because the hero power. Oh, man. That's sad. They're at least sacrificing a lot of board here. I beam Lothab maybe a little better. Do want to discount Neptulon ASAP, though. Mm, Neptulon to eight. There is info on Discord. I need a plan. There is info on Discord. Indeed, always. Yeah, let's play for Neptulon. I don't think we're gonna get this in one one push right now. Weirdly, <sighs> nah, I'm gonna hit for 16. It's really debatable, right? I don't know. You could maybe try to clear these, but. Um, I don't think so. I think it's better. Too many cards. Oh, oh, <laughs> Just killing Lothab, that's fine. How much did they burn? Oh, Cookie's Ladle burned, I see. Okay, Karia is sometimes insane. Like, Pit Commander's awesome. Voidhound's pretty cool. Forge Fiend is good. We're not quite there on the Neptulons. I think we go Karia. We could go Fell Scream or Hero Power, but it's a little more passive. I need a plan. Is there a world where I just kill this and try to win with uh, this guy? Because, man, they... Cause I could go, like, here and here, but this doesn't have any targets. Yeah, I think this is fine. Hit Z-Log, right? Just hit Z-Log. It's easy. Oh, that's good, too. Extra minion. Basically, another Yashiraj here. Still shuts down board. It's really nice. No proc, unfortunately, but still, I didn't turn into Z-Log, but we'll take it. That's an awesome board. Yeah, nice. Very nice. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. uh, Surly Mob's actually pretty good for us. Just a little bit more removal than we currently have. That could be nice. Top Hat doesn't matter. Puzzle Box, we don't really care about that. We like our minion effects pretty well. I think, I think Surly Mob's pretty good. Uh, Urzul. Oh, oh, here we go. This is good. Yeah. Neutral is big. Yeah, it's perfect. Nazoth's pretty good for us. 
not a ton of death rattles, but I, I think enough with the Moargs, honestly. Just getting a couple of Moargs a card tot would be very, very cool. Uh... Yeah, I. It's like driving me crazy that I want to find this thing just to prove somebody wrong, but it's like consuming my soul. Um, I don't even know if Ben is still here, but uh, I Ben, I'm like pretty sure. Even there are probably examples in my vods of that not being accurate. Um. If you just go look at VODs, I bet you wouldn't have to even scroll very far. There's been plenty of scenarios where I've had higher powers, but smaller differentials. But 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 here's what I'm not understanding. Isn't it exactly the same thing? I, I'm not understanding. It's like exactly the same thing. I don't understand what you're arguing even. My argument. Is that. The differential between location powers in Marvel Snap is the deciding factor for a tie. Which is the same thing as total power. Because you, it, the differential determines the total power. I don't understand. Uh, yes, exactly. Yes. I don't understand what the counter argument is. <laughs> I'm not, that's what I said on YouTube is, is it? Aren't you talking about the same thing? I, I don't understand the difference. That is indeed how math works. Yes, I, I, I might be confused. It isn't the same thing if neither. Here's the here's the here's the message. It isn't the same thing if neither player plays on the third location, for example. Yes, it's a tie on the third location. As we said, that that's the only thing we're talking about. The third location is tied, but you have total 50 power while your opponent has 30. When you both win one each, you will win the game. That is the same thing as what I'm saying. Because, like, if you're ahead 30 to 10, right, and your opponent is ahead 40 to 0, they have 50 and you have 30, but they also have a greater point differential. There's no way for them to not have a greater point differential. My example was a bad one. It's hard to explain. <laughs> I guess I need an example then because I don't understand. I think you're saying the same thing as me, but telling me I'm dumb and acting as if it's a disagreement, which I don't understand. The reason we know it's not actually total power and it's point differential is because of bar with no name. If you have a tie on the bar with no name location or uh if nobody plays bar with a name, which happens often, or, or if somebody goes negative like 10 on bar with no name and somebody else goes five on bar with no name, the person with negative 10 wins bar with no name, but it hurts their total power uh, output. Their total power would still be lower because they won bar with no name, but it's the differential between bar with no name because they won bar but with no name by 15 or whatever I, I don't know whatever numbers I said um bar with no name is the specific scenario where it matters that it's differential and not total power that's how we know it's not total power and it's actually differential which and otherwise they're always exactly the same anyway I can't spend time playing Hearthstone while doing this let's play Hearthstone We'll talk about that later. I, I know there's an example in Discord because I read it and people were arguing about it. So I know there's an example there. But I, I won't be able to find it. I won't be able to find it. It's just probably weeks gone in Discord. Just weeks gone. <laughs> it's a new treasure, yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. Vandar Stormpike versus Omu. 
you could say that, but then you're right back to where you start is that it's it's the same, which is my argument is that they're the same. I'm saying it's exactly the same. So yes, it, the, how you label it could change, but it's still functionally the same. I don't know what scenario exists where it's not functionally the same. Ben is suggesting there is an example, but I don't know what the example is. If there is an example, I'd love to hear it. I'm not the one going on people's YouTube channels and telling them that they're wrong in a fairly condescending fashion. It wasn't really that condescending, but it's just, you know, a little bit condescending. So, I, you know, the burden of proof is not on me. I'm not the one going around telling people this. Okay, this is not a good hand. We want neutral minions specifically. We don't need to turn one play because we have Crystal Gem, so... Ooh, ooh, oh, neutral minions indeed. Let's go. Very powerful. Z-Log as a follow-up is good too. Mending pools and iron roots. Okay, that's scary. They can get some big stuff early. Three neutrals is actually bad for us. We might accidentally split out our uh, discounts here, which might prevent us from cheating something out soon enough. But we'll do our best. That's even worse, man. Too many dudes. Local art keeps getting hit though, which is nice. If it just gets hit one more time, we're not probably too bad off. Imagine the original version of this where everything just gets discounted. How gross was that, dude? It was very gross. Very gross. <laughs> hero power or Talon? I think still hero power. Local R on four would be nice. I even kind of get maybe two chances to hit it. Okay, nice. Yeah. Done. Now the real question is, do I hero power again next turn and try to hit this or do I just play it? Might depend a little bit on how much I need to react to. Sure would be nice hero power. I have such a big hand. I think I hero power again. Even if I don't hit it, it's just the net discount is so strong. There's only there's only four units anyway. I'm gonna I'm gonna hero power. Hopefully hopefully we hit it. Man, I don't know though. 16 damage to face on it's like turn four against Druid. Uh, next turn I could hero power and still tail in. How much power spike do I need? Yeah, it's true that their hero power. Yeah, their, their hero power is really good against me. So maybe maybe over investing early is really not worth it. Yeah, I think I hero power. Okay. I think I need I think I need a lot of threats to beat this hero power right. So going all in early, just they just hero power. In the, I haven't really advantaged myself much. So maximizing kind of a, like a multiple minion board in the mid game is probably more valuable than than a singular threat on on turn four, right? That makes sense to my brain, at least. This is not yeah. what we stood for. So Neptulon's a much better minion, probably. Three minions, basically. This is not what we stood oh my, of all the things in my deck to faceless, that, <laughs> that may not end up being the one <laughs> that they wanted. I want one of these to go to two, or both actually going to two would be sick. No, actually, Neptulon's still really good. Okay. Nature studies burns. So Nazoth has, you know, uh, elementals in it. Probably bad ones on average, right? But elementals nonetheless. Uh, this will be a demon. Probably. Oh my. Okay. Sure. Um... I guess let's just go again then. Only what what is it? Oh, it's always hitting this, right? And this. So yeah, I can I can play both so. Okay. So we assume Lockalar gets probably hero power dinged or whatever, but this one's not that good with hero power really, because it's reborn, right? So it just comes back as the 10 one again. Maybe hits them again. Um This is a little better elemental for Dissolve, but. This is a demon for Nazoth, but again, same risk sort of where um, 
Oh, this is not a this is a death rattle with Nazoth. Whoops. He has nothing actually yet. Just just tail him. Not a good Nazoth yet. Wrong Nazoth. Wrong Nazoth, bro. I need Moargs. I need I need Kartuts. Man, multiple Moargs and then multiple Nazoths would be crazy. Like we can actually go infinite against this druid deck. Like, you know, it's hard to go infinite sometimes against this deck. We actually can. The problem is going to be damage. Like, if they, you know, they can go infinite, but they, like, chip damage along the way. You know, they get Feral Rages and hit you for four or whatever. That's where we're going to have challenges, I think. Oh, that's the right Nazoth. Okay. <laughs> Fun. <laughs> Interesting. Probably a decent Chaos Leech here. Kind of don't hate Z-Log, though, either. Also, don't hate just Illidari, right? Kind of the same difference. Z-Log, I don't get to hit for 10, though, so I, I think I like this better. This actually is the better demon for this Nazoth right now, by the way. Like, limiting it to this demon instead of, like, putting these little demons in is actually better for this Nazoth. I might... There, there is an argument to play this Nazoth, like, this next turn. Assuming the, the Illidari dies, which I'm almost certain it will. Now they can ping the 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 dude and kill the dude with these tutus. Which kind of sucks, but it's going to happen. We can't avoid that forever. Um, yeah. Nazoth. So Nazoth has Illidari and some part of Neptulon or maybe Lokalar. That's it, right? No beast yet. No, no, no Moonfang yet. Okay. So I played this off pre Z log, I guess, is the question, right? I, th I think maybe. Oh my. Okay. That's scary. Topple answers this sort of stuff, but I don't really want to do it yet. Hmm. They buffed the guys that I feel like they're going to want to trade in anyway. Right? Aren't they going to want to trade the 4 4s into the 10 1? Oh, maybe not. Wow. That's an interesting, interesting maneuver. Hmm. Okay. So the only demon I've had die is the 8-8, eight eight, right? That's not an incorrect assumption. Just the 8-8. Eight eight. I need a plan. Yeah, I think so. Everybody says that seems right. Uh, I haven't played Hearts since BWL. Whoa, McCree, man. I need a plan. Whoa, I, this this could summon Neptulon. I might lose a dude, a 4-2 dude, but I'm willing to take that risk. Um... Oh my god, no, I lose the dude. Oh, that's fine, too. That, that's even honestly kind of better. Uh, definitely went first, so that's great. I get another 10 to face this way. Awesome. I can't believe I didn't kill this off, man. I love it, though. I'm really pumped. I lost the 8-8, but I got the Neptulon, which is better. If I'd summoned the 8-8 first and then gotten the Neptulon, I would have only gotten one hand. But, uh... As it stands, this is really good. Oh, I did miss your power. You're right. Yes, it was guaranteed, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay, that's good for us. Draw more three mana insane cards. So, how much damage would we say this is? It's uh, 24 plus 15 currently. 39. That's funny. It's actually, if, if they didn't didn't resolve anything, it would be lethal. That's fun. So still no great Nazoth. Um, Z-Log is pretty good, I guess, usually. Just get some more damage out. I'm assuming this hits the... Neptulon's probably the most threatening. It's 14 damage versus the 10-1 over there. Time is of the essence. I don't think you hit that on a hand. I, I don't know. Oh, wand again. Wow. Okay. Well, that's, that's a thing, too.
Man, Wanda's really good. Uh. That's the second wand? Did this one, did the last one come off of, I didn't even notice, like it came off of a, uh, Moonlit or something? I need Are they still 40? Uh, they keep healing off Mending Pools. Zilog's just not that great here, you know? I could try to snipe like a Chaos Leech on the 4-4, maybe. It's not terrible. It's pretty likely to die. Here is a little less likely because the map's just a little harder. You know, it's got to get hit twice, so... This is not even particularly... You know, well, let's just hope, right? It's, it's pretty likely. Okay, sweet. Killing one is important, I think. It makes them have to answer the Z-Log, but other than just minions have to hero power or something here. Um, okay, I need to get a looming presence into, like, more Z-Logs. More, uh, more Nazoths would be great. More reloads, basically. That's a great answer. Karia could hit one of these Z-Logs, actually. Pretty likely, even, maybe. There's Moargs as well, which wouldn't be bad for the Nazoths, I guess. If Karia comes down, does she get added to the deck with Vigor based on herself or the minions she turns into? I do not know. I'm really falling behind on these uh, Iron Roots, though. Might have to topple this one. Oh, topple plus Z-Logs. Insane. So I need five damage here. Oh, works awesome for Nazoth later, yeah. Okay. Dude, my deck is going to be all all Z-Logs soon, dude. It's so many Z-Logs. It's already on like, five in there, I guess, since I drew one. Or does this do two or three? It's two copies. So, so three Z-Logs left in the deck. I was thinking it was three for some reason, but they cost three. Okay, so they're going for a reload turn here. Naturally, I love them only being a 10 mana. It's so rare to play a druid who actually only has 10 mana, right? So this is still eight damage. Kind of a little bit board locked, to be honest, but I can just dump a Moarg at this rate. That's fine. There's the guff. Okay. Still looking at a ton of damage this turn, potentially, though. But as we know, Druid can just heal forever, particularly with Mending root, mending Pools, man. Just insane healing over and over again every turn. I am also going to run out of cards at some point. Like, I need I need card draw. I, I don't know. I'm only really playing, like, one or more threats per turn. So what we talked about literally when we took Vigor is I don't always have enough card draw. Let's see him on. Did they shuffle me? Did I shuffle? Why am I not? I thought I was getting a Moark. Didn't I dredge a Moark? Oh, oh, Vigor shuffles. Oh, duh. Sure. Of course. Duh. Uh, okay. Dredging really never does anything for us. I mean, Wind Fury Divine Shield here is, in theory, the best pick, but it's just, we know it's going to get pinged off. I guess let's make them ping it off, right? If I play this or hold it, is there any reason to hold it? I can't really think of one. Probably should have played it pre on even. Hey, there you are, buddy. Good job. So 25 is basically a lifetime away. I don't know how to beat 25. I think getting like a board of endless Moargs into one big Nazoth would be nice. Could get into an end game state where I'm only playing Mo Nazoth Moargs. <laughs> how sick would that be? That is such a bonkers reload, dude. Uh... Dude, it's all hitting one dude right now. It's kind of handy for us, actually. Imagine if Surly Mob sniped that 7-7, seven, seven, dude. They surely want to hear a power of the 6-6, six, six, right? I don't know how to... I don't know if I can clear that. This board's gross. I don't know if I can beat this board. I don't know how to beat this. It's really already kind of out of hand. I don't have a, I don't have a wand-type card for this board. They're probably just going to win on this board. Dude, it hit that minion again. What is the deal with that minion? Why is it always hitting that one guy? <laughs> Completely insane. 
Taint Heart? I mean, that's interesting in some ways, but it just doesn't feel like enough. If I surly mob, how much damage can I do here? 12, 16, plus 4 is 20, plus 8, 28, theoretically, if it went perfectly. Um... What's Kari I have that's any good? Pit Commander, maybe? Moar could get an Azoth rolling. Hmm. It just feels like a really bad turn. All right, that, that minion seems to love absorbing hits, so we're gonna do it. <laughs> hit it, hit it. Oh my god, close. Oh, that was close. I kind of have to decide if I want to give up the CM out here, if I want to like value trade it. I don't know. Board space is a little bit of a premium here, but. Oh my God, dude. Oh my God, please animate, bro. I, I, I attacked, you saw it. I attacked. You saw it. Come on, we all know. I think I'm just dead though. Like I just don't know how to pull this game back. I can't really win on face damage because they just have infinite life on mending pools. Literally, mycelium is just infinite life. Not infinite per turn necessarily, but pretty much just infinite life. I gotta get Moargs down and just create a cascade of these, I think, and then try to stick one big board they can't answer. But I, I, like I said before, I think we're just gonna die. Oh yeah, we're literally dead. Okay, cool. Oh, that's great. Excellent. Dude, I, this is the only deck you lose to in duels. You you just play until you lose to Mycelium. <laughs> That's just how it goes. Just play until Mycelium beats you, man. You lose to Mycelium three times? Okay, you had a good run. That's, that's fun. Good job. Oh, these are bad. Um... Uh, I, I think I take this because it's the least disruptive to my neutrals. Although these aren't either because they're cheap, I guess. But I don't want to put these in the vigor pool, right? I don't want to be playing these and drawing these later for three mana. So I guess we go. I guess we go here. It's kind of the least disruptive. Benjim Jam says, turns out I was wrong. Thank you, Benjim Jam. I appreciate you being a, a nice guy and following up. I clearly misunderstood the wording of a statement when I hadn't yet played it myself. It's somewhere in the depths of the Team Answers channel. I knew I'd seen it. I meant no offense. You don't have to apologize. It's fine. It's just, I knew I'd seen it on Discord. You know, it's like the only thing that bothers me is the confident... Like, like the confidence, you know what I mean? I, I get, I get so angry. You're not really angry, but frustrated when people are really confident with unsure information. Being confidently incorrect is like my biggest pet peeve, except for my internet going out. That's my biggest pet peeve in life is my internet going out. So it's okay. I, it takes a big man to come back and, and, and apologize. And you don't even need to apologize. It's not a big deal. It's just that that set me off, <laughs> but I'm glad I'm glad you found the Discord. There's a lot of good information there. <laughs> so that's a little jab, of course. I had to take that one. But thank you, Ben. I'm sorry for causing a fuss. I didn't even mean to call you out publicly. You just happened to be in chat and acknowledge it. Of course, I wouldn't have called you out otherwise. So thank you much, man. I appreciate it. We're all good. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's a fun moment. Uh, okay. Uh, the Talon's like kind of okay. Like you don't love it, but uh, I don't know. Maybe Talon's not a good keep. I just know I'm going to lose against Druid anyway, so it's like, well, okay, we lose. Okay, that could screw them actually. Yeah, hopefully that screws them somehow. They like alter fire and burn their uh, mycelium, you know, something like that. Did we play this person earlier? I feel like they had this exact same pair. I don't know if it's the same person or not, but similar perhaps. 
So early Moarg is a good play, but it's not like a home run play. You know, it's not like the Yasharaj early that's super snowball-y. It's just an 8-8. Eight, eight. Screw them. Oh, okay. I could have screwed them later, but not now. Man, I'm really only... I think I'm going to do this and try to get one of my big 10 drops sooner. This is not what we stood for. You know? Get a Yasharaj. That could be a winner. Neptulon, probably not good enough. But you never know. Sometimes I could do crazy damage. I don't want this game to go too long. I know that. The longer this game goes, the more trouble I'm going to have. So... If I can make it go fast, that's better. Karia could be a home run here. We could try a Karia. That has some big hits. Pick Commander's really good, for instance. Z-Log's certainly not terrible. There's some low rolls too, to be fair, but I think we need a I think we need a power spike to win. Eh. It's not really the one. Man. It felt to me like that summoned Moargs in the deck, or put Moargs in the deck right, not Karyas, based on the animation anyway. That makes sense too, based on my understanding mechanics. Yeah, that wasn't the home run I wanted, right? We needed, I think we needed Z-Log. Actually, an Illidari wouldn't have been bad with this exercise in hand. Z-Log, pick Commander. We needed a high roll. Whoa. Silence Priest, wow. Oh, here's my big 10 drops, okay. Thank you. Colossus is big. Kind of wish I was not. Oh, man, we have a ton of damage this game. Oh, that's fun. Damage is actually pretty fun. Let's go face. Hero power, this is two and six. I can play this next turn. I'm going to go face, man. I just I, I don't really think I have a lot of ways to win this game, so I'm going to just try to race. I just know how poorly this goes every time we go late, but this is like the most high damage output hand we've ever had. So maybe we can squeeze it in early, you know, squeak a win out. <laughs> yeah, exercise with the 7-7. Seven, seven. Yeah, good plan. Yeah, that's actually really funny. That's really funny. Battle Mulch, dude. Thanks for the prime sub. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, two weapons. We, we took forever. Oh, yeah, this is this guy. Oh, yeah, I remember this guy's deck. Of course, this is this guy. Obviously now. Now I know. I mean, him drawing me cards is really helpful, actually, so I kind of love these 7-7s. Seven Last time we didn't... Oh, that's really good, though. Oh, that's the low roll version. Okay, because the 8-8 eight eight would have traded too nicely there. Oh! <gasps> Oh my god, yes! That's a home run for us! Those can't attack, and I'm left with some giant dudes! Oh my god, yes! This is like a lethal setup, dude. Well, no it's not. <laughs> not, not quite, but close! If I, could, if I could exercise or attack again, it would be. So this feels like Hero Power Colossus next turn, pretty much always. Uh, seems like that's gonna die. Okay, that's a good card, man. All right, so this is 13. If this guy lives and this gets to hit, right? That's 13. Inner Demon's another eight the turn after. Priestess is even some extra damage, potentially. I like Moonfang Exerciser, though, in most cases, I think. Two really sticky, annoying minions to deal with here. Obviously, they can kill the 8-8, but... Uh, will that be enough? What's left behind? How hard is that? Do they have Adara? Oh my god, Adara last time screwed us, remember? Adara on 7. They play Adara, we'll just Priestess. And set up for the Inner Demon lethal, right? That that actually wouldn't be the worst. I'd be annoyed, but... we'd We'd have a play, at least. <laughs> Looks like they're trading, so they might they might still be Adaring, just trading well no that doesn't make sense. You never do that. I don't know. Uh, not not Adaring. This guy, dude. This guy had the shortest time in standard. 
Okay, that's not a problem. Uh, oh, actually, am I gonna have lethal, though? Oh, shoot. I only have 14? Do I really only have 14? I'm one off! Are you kidding me? Priestess? Hmm. Priestess isn't lethal, because I gotta get through the taunt first. I'd have to attack... That's only 10, that's less damage. The Tintin can't go face if I play Priestess and try to snipe that way, guys. I don't think that's the move. I think we just play another big thing. I think Moonfang's a little better than Moar because of its stickiness. Um, but I don't know. Hero power first? It doesn't do anything. These are already three. This is not a neutral. Okay. My elbow blocked you? Uh oh. Elbow interruptions. The worst. Wild growth? It's not the end of the world for us, I guess. Digging for answers here. I mean, the good news is, even if they somehow clear the board, I have both weapon and inner demon. They would, like, clear the board, remove my weapon. I still have inner demon. All right, I still get there, maybe. Came for the plays, stayed for the beard, disappointed by both. Thank you, Rusty Nails, for the 38 months. Oh, that's good, actually. That's really nice. Just digging for emergency outs, some psychic scream off book or something, right? That's smart if you don't have any other answers. That's smart. I love that we might get a revenge against this this uh, crazy Adara player from before. That's a fun storyline. Yeah, draw cards. Dig for dig for scrolls. Smart. They are running out of time for it though. I ain't gonna do it. <laughs> okay. Good try. Oh, that's actually, that's actually a really cool play. It doesn't beat my weapon, but actually kind of cool. Yeah, that was fun. Getting a reborn taunt. That's, that's nice. Dude, we've gotten so many Quadalar pieces this game. It's really kind of nuts. I, I don't know. I guess maybe Kobold is okay. Maybe okay. How would I feel about minions if you future having activate on your turn effects like a button on the menu to trigger it when you want? Having activate on your turn effects. Like a button on the minion. I mean, I, theoretically that's cool. I, I don't know if I know exactly what you mean, but... If it's only on your turn, it wouldn't really be that different, I guess. I mean, I think we might actually take hilt. Yes, I I don't know. Kobold is... <sighs> Kobold could fuel our hero power. Kobold can turn into a lot of value, potentially. Uh, Oh, oh, you're saying I get hilt. I've been offered both hilt and blade already, I think. I think this is my third Quotal Art piece. I see what you mean. Um, I, I kind of don't hate blade, though, just because it's like another activator for, uh, you know, this Illidari, but that's a one of cards. So who cares? No, I think, I think it's Kobold. I think it's Kobold. Are you still playing Marvel Snap? Yeah, I played yesterday on stream, actually. There will be a VOD out tomorrow for that, I think. I put out a video today, actually. I'm going to take Kobold. Uh, no. Cool, cool, cool. This run's going way better than I thought. I, I gotta go in 15 minutes, man. I, I, I told the wife I'd be doing a five for dinner. <sighs> yeah, I saw. Yeah, out in the Philippines. Yeah. I gotta get my wife's family on board. A number of them still live in the Philippines. I gotta get them playing Snap, man. I 
I hope it opens. I, I, I'm hopeful that like it being available in a country means it will be available in more countries sooner rather than later. I really thought it was going to go slower than even this Philippines thing. It's already been too slow for the record, but I'm hopeful that they like kind of like maybe one a week or something. And then maybe after six weeks, like global launch happens or something, you know, maybe faster. That would be nice, but I'd say snap it now. Snap it now. Uh, five for dinner. Are you 75? My wife is. Yes. Uh, she has to. Well, I, this argument. We used to eat dinner at four because she had to get up at like 5 a.m. for work. She's a nurse. And uh, she would get up at like five. So she'd go to bed at like, I don't know, nine, I guess, about nine. Usually um, she got up at actually like 445, got up, went to bed at nine, 930. She'd want to eat dinner like early to have time to chill before she goes to sleep. But yeah, if it's up to me, I'd eat dinner at like seven and go to bed at like one. I I have more of a night owl type schedule. And mine tends to rotate too. Like I tend to like extend it over time quite a bit. This is insane, but I just don't think it keeps up with our hero power, right? I think we just look for neutrals. It's kind of sad. Like we built this whole deck. Uh, There's a big demon hunter, you know, and at the end of the day, it's just a Vandar deck really. Oh my God. <sighs> okay. It's really better if we have two of these, right? But yeah, okay. <laughs> Hopefully this keeps up. I, I don't know. Okay. Bag of coins right now would be pretty nice. Bag of coins off the top would be a delight. Let's get this stuff cheated out ASAP, right? I think we're going to need an Epsilon to swing on some Divine Shields. Bladed Lady. Did we, did we play this guy too? I feel like we played a guy with this exact same set. The like, uh, yeah, the, the mini bot guy, maybe. Maybe he didn't have Crystal Gem. I don't know. Whatever the case. It's feeling familiar. Colossus got cheap pretty fast, man. Neptulon's over here dodging all these. This is the one I care most about, I think. This might be an idle game, though, to kind of stabilize a little. Okay, a lot of Divine Shields. That's gross. Surly Mob is pretty good. But I think we got to rock more discounts still. Idol's just not good against Divine Shields in the slightest. So next turn, I will probably hero power like a greedy idiot, and I will probably hit the two non four drops. Just to be honest. Oh, I hit one. Okay, good. Nice. This is not even that good at killing these, to be honest. <laughs> like, I might just need to go face and like trust the Moargs and the Surly mobs. Um. Oh, wow, bro. <laughs> bro. <laughs> I guess that's better than a righteous defense. Bro. <laughs> Not cool, bro. <laughs> Can't even use it to pop a shield, which might honestly save me some, some life at the, at the mean, in the meantime, but... Okay, I need this to hit a four drop real bad. Nice. Okay, I, I think I... <sighs> I kind of need to coin a sigil here just to like get more divine shield pops for these topple plays, right? I think that's probably going to be more important than coining a bigger, a bigger threat later. Gonna go ahead and start trading this in so I can get the 10 one version of it back sooner. I just need bodies, maybe. Now that's like two turns away, so it it may not make sense, but I can go more hero power next turn. And then topple on seven, maybe. Hopefully is enough. Dude, oh my god, I jinxed myself. I, I hate myself right now, dude. Ugh. Dude, a Nazoth this game with all these Moargs would be so sick. Oh, I would love a Nazoth, please. Please give me Nazoth, man. Inner Demon is absolutely not Nazoth. Okay, this is fine to be four, so I'm just going to play this and then Hero Power to cheapen up the other guys. Um, I mean, we're we're not... We're obviously not ahead, but we're not dead here, right? Like, we're kind of hanging in a little bit. We got some life off these Moargs. 
Topple's going to hopefully reset a little bit here after I get these chip clears on these Divine Shields, maybe. Topple's a little bit at risk because of all these three mana things. Oh, it's also at risk because that has 12 health and I can't clear a 12 health minion. <laughs> okay, uh, cool. I mean, if this lives, it actually can hit there. It's actually at 14 health, of course. Yeah, sure. If they just ignore this, I might be able to trade in after. They're still gonna have like something alive, but. Okay. That was smart. Protect your divine shields, right? Okay, I decided to kill it, unfortunately. I think that's a really clean hit. I mean, the good news is it's only the Leviathan, probably. Like, everything else is pretty small. Oh my god, that is very cheap. I wish I could Surly Mob at the end, dude, but I just don't have that mana. Okay, I just need four, really. But, I mean, the bigger the better, obviously. Oh no, dude. <laughs> no. Not like this, elixir, <laughs> elixir of vigor coming back to kill me, dude. No, everything's at four, I'm dead. Hmm. What did I say? These were both at the top, or I guess this is the bottom. I, not at the top, but you know, uh, that's that's game over. Yeah, I'm dead. Huh? I can't win. I mean, there was a chance it did 10, right? But alas, it, it functioned as we feared. Uh, well, I said I had to go, so this is perfect timing. <laughs> it's a good time. Seven wins is really good, too. This is probably still a YouTube run. It was pretty nuts. Pretty nuts. Snap came out in... What do you mean snap came out in? I've seen a lot of Australia and New Zealand testing before for mobile games. Not usually US though, but a lot of. Uh... Oh, that was the closed. Oh, I see what you're saying. Oh, you couldn't even get the closed beta outside of those countries. I didn't know that. I would say New Zealand and Australia are next if I had to guess. But I don't know, maybe they'll um, try a different like region of the world because the rest of those are all kind of on that chunk of the world, that quadrant of the world. So maybe they could do Canada or US or something. That'd be awesome. All right. Seven wins is still pretty good for a deck that didn't really, you know, I don't know. It, it, it was kind of split down the middle. It really should have been a neutral deck. The Demon Hunter card was okay. Not great. But anyway, glad we got a run in. I have a lot of packs from all those concedes, don't I? <laughs> Pretty good elixir run. Yeah, I mean, not bad, but I, I will say I, I don't feel like elixir was usually the key to the run. It, you know, there were a few times the three mana cards were nice, but I didn't feel like they were ever like totally game winning, you know? It was usually the hero power swings that won the games if we won. It was a nice bonus, but. All right, I got to go, guys. That was an awesome run. Let me drop a raid before I leave. Uh, should be back tomorrow. As far as I know, probably not going to do Marvel Snap again until I rank up more. Um, just want to get back to Infinite again. I don't. I haven't had a lot of time to play, so that may, may take a few days. Or something. I don't really know. Only done this once before, so I don't know how, how good I'll be. But uh, yeah, let me drop a Hearthstone raid and I'm going to go catch up on. Oh, man, I was going to make a freaking video tonight, but I did. not Oh, shoot. Crap, I ran out of time to play that big spell mage. I wanted to play more big spell mage. Yeah, I kind of had enough games for it anyway. They just weren't the best games. Yeah, I'll probably do it anyway. Okay, I gotta go, guys. I can always play it tomorrow. Not if I need the video to be out tonight. <laughs> uh, I mean, I can play tomorrow, but I won't make it into the video. 
Uh, okay, we're going to play one game of Big Spell Mage. And it's going to be the best game of Big Spell Mage of our life. And it's going to go into the video. I lied. People who left early, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to misdirect you. I didn't mean to juke you, but it happened. I apologize. And then after this, I'm leaving and we're raiding. And I'll be late to dinner. It'll end up being a 30-minute game. So this is a big spell mage if you guys missed it earlier. It's running Lady Najjar, which, you know, in theory has some cool big spell discounts. In reality, it's not very good. <laughs> it doesn't really matter much, but, you know, in theory. Um, okay. Mailbox Dancer is pretty cool. Helps us cheat out big spells, puts big small spells in our opponent's deck for uh, Barbaric Sorceress, a card we have. Uh, no, let's let's wait, really. We don't need to do these yet. I don't think we need a ton of tempo. If it's Mech Mage, maybe, but if it's Naga Mage, these won't really do much. They're just kind of fodder for Siphon Manas and Rune Orbs and stuff in the meantime. New TMT Shredder's Revenge is coming out June 16th. It's a rogue! Uh, I did not hear that, but that sounds awesome. It looked cool when I saw it last. I need to catch up on that and other uh, Summer Games Fest news. Okay, trade that in, that's fine. I don't really hate them having a coin too awful much. I really am, am uh, somewhat annoyed that I haven't drawn a big spell yet, though. I, I want to tempo one of these against Rogue. It's more valuable, but I, I also want to hold it for a spell, you know? It's really annoying. I need... What big spell do I need? I'm not even sure what's in the deck because my deck tracker is not showing it, but... Uh, probably... I think I have Blizzard. I think I have... Uh, that's a good big spell. Okay. So... Seven mana Drake Fire now with the coin. It's only a couple turns away. That's not bad. We can Varden on five, figure out something on six, and then coin Drake Fire on seven. Oh my god, what is that? Oh my. Oh, yikes. We're gonna die. Oh, we're just dead. Okay. I mean, Varden is, is great here. If I get a Blizzard, actually, we might be okay. Parrot's not good enough. Parrot just doesn't do it here. I like calculations. You need to chill out. I really need to hit Blizzard specifically, I think. Kind of has to be Blizzard. Or I'm just going to die to these boards, right? That also makes Dawngrasp insane because we have Blizzard into Drakefire. Drakefire, it's not that good against boards. Like, it has a couple taunts, possibly, right? But not a lot of reactivity, usually. Well, let's muddy the waters. Oh no. Oh my god. Not hitting face yet. That's kind of a relief, I guess, but not really good enough at the moment. I'm just taking a downturn if if I don't get a blizzard here. Blizzard, please, Blizzard. Blizzard, give me the blizzard, please. Blizzard. 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 Did I play duels today? We did for two out we did for Two hours and 58 minutes. And unfortunately, you, you got here on hour 259. You were about a minute late, man. I'm so sorry. Uh, Midnight for life. I hope it all goes well or gets better. Appreciate the kind words. I wish you well. Happy to be a tiny, tiny help. But you got this. Okay. <laughs> Brilliance is not a blizzard. I mean, it can turn into a blizzard. No, it can't. <laughs> That's not even accurate. Nope. It cannot turn into a blizzard. Okay. Maybe I trade this. We don't really need two of these. Maybe I trade this. We really need. We don't really need a viper right now. Ah, sure. Okay. I, the problem is right. The Drake for Amulet is just not gonna win the game. I mean, yeah, I can play it. It's just not enough to stay alive, though. Not enough to stay alive. It is good, yeah. Tyler Revenant's insane. <laughs> I 
converted. That's bursted. That's funny. Yeah, dude, that's awesome. I, you're running Kazakistan and Tidal Revenants? You got all the A-drops. I love it. Mega Greed. Um, yeah, I, I, I heard Tidal Revenant described in a way that, that I think it was uh, Zaka or whoever. Uh, described in a way that really made it make more sense to me. It's kind of like an eight mana card that says, like, ch it's like, it says charge immune while attacking in a weird way. It's a weird way to think about it, but it's like, it, it gets, it's kind of like a Grom almost, you know, um, that, that just gets to kill something with impunity, but also gains you eight armor. It's almost like a Scenarian Ward that summons a Grom, you know? Now, of course it can't. It can't, uh, you know, get up to 10 like Grom, but it's kind of like a Sarian Ward always summoning Grom, which is sort of sort of insane in a weird way. I don't think there's any pair of dragons that are good enough here, but it's also probably the best play that I have, so. Well, okay. Those might be the best ones. I mean, that is technically enough. Boom, 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 boom. Oh. Mm. Well... Maybe not. <laughs> Do they have an answer, I guess? Uh, extortion. I mean, they're, they're getting there, but I is it still enough? Currently not enough. Uh, that's not enough. Oh, my God. We're actually sort of... Oh, my God. Is this enough to stay alive? Is this better than just Dawngrass, though? Dawngrass gets me more dragons and five life. This gets me at least four life, but four is not really that much. I think Dawngrass has to be better, right? I, I wish I had a blizzard in here, but... I wonder. Five life and another set of dragons. I mean, Onyxia is a rush dragon. There's a taunt dragon. I mean, that's not very reliably good dragons, though. This is always at least four mana, four armor. But I just don't have anything else to do with this, right? I don't I don't play any of the spells. Restaurant sucks. So yeah, it's it's if I could do these together, I would, but it's gotta be Dawn Grass. I just guess I hope for a good dragon set. Like another taunt and a rush dragon would be sick. Oh, two more taunt dragons! We're actual gods! <laughs> I cannot believe that, dude. We rolled the exact same two dragons. That's just a coincidence, right? That's not, that doesn't happen. She doesn't know. They don't know that, 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 that that's insane. That's crazy. Oh my God, scale. That's not really good enough yet though, still. Oh my God, dude. That is the craziest drink fire roll I've ever seen. I need Nazjar to come into armor now. I need I need a frost spell, which I actually don't really have any good ones because I don't want to play Blizzard. I don't think right. Blizzard's not good at this stage. Rune's pretty ris risky. Let's just go for the deep water now. Oh, I could go for another another freaking dragon set though. Is six safe enough with only one taunt up? <sighs> Not always because of like smite and stuff. No, I better go. I better go evoker. Let's let's we can still do this parrot next turn. That's fine. Um, see how much armor I get. Six is good. Okay, okay, that's good. Uh, this could give me like an ice barrier too, which would be sick. Oh my god, dude! I'm just calling every shot right now, dude. I can't believe this game. I said I was gonna play one big spell mage game, and it had to be the best game, and we did it. We we absolutely found the best game. So now I can go Blizzard, and then Nazjar will be uh, armor for later, or we can just try to win soon by going for like another dragon set off Parrot, because 12 actually 20 feels a lot safer. Suddenly we're kind of in a counter tempo scenario. Coin makes me very nervous. Do they have any? These aren't generated cards, so. <laughs> I don't know what to expect here. Tooth? Not that good. Okay. <laughs> smite and stuff, yeah. They, they do have the dredge 3 3 still at the bottom, so smite is like 12 damage currently. If, if they dredge with it, you know. So this makes more dragons. That's probably good enough for now. Rune is always lethal, but I'm just too scared to do it. Could even like freeze face. Probably not relevant, but you never know. It's 
kind of a shame the Nazjar is not like playable with a five mana frost spell, you know? It'd be nice to get the armor immediately. Oh, coin might have been a counter spell test. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. That makes sense. Kind of a throwaway at this point, anyway. Okay. Ran. Parrot, I'm going, dude. 20 health's got to be enough, right? I'm going. I don't even care. I don't even know how this works. I mean, I'm only going to have spots for three dragons anyway, but I don't care. <laughs> oh, let's go, dude. I want more. Oh, another taunt. Yes. I can't get any of this. is actually crazy. I keep rolling only the big taunt dragons. I don't understand. <laughs> it's like we keep getting these two every time. Oh my god, what a great game. What a great game. This guy was the odd man out, but that is crazy. Okay, I really gotta go this time, guys, for real. I really gotta go. All right. Love you all, Ton. Thanks for hanging out. Good luck out there. Uh, love you all, Ton. I think I said that already. You're all great. You're the best. Thanks for the subs, bits, follows, uh, kind words. Enjoy this raid. Thanks for watching, and until next time, game on.